Today's Bitcoin price is brought to you by Express Coin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather, from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, the location is New York where it was revealed during day three of the Silk Road trial that Department of Homeland Security agent Jared Deryagin, at one point in his involvement in the Silk Road investigation, suspected disgraced Mt. Gox CEO Mark Karpeles and his right-hand man, Ashley Barr, of being the masterminds behind Silk Road. His suspicions led to his signing of an affidavit stating that he had probable cause to get a warrant to search Karpeles' emails. Deryagin also expressed frustration with a parallel Baltimore, Maryland investigation that seized money from Carpolese associated with alleged illegal money transfer business, tipping him off to the fact that there was a government investigation underway. It was also revealed that Carpolese's attorney told Maryland investigators he wanted to make a deal that he would say who he thought was behind Silk Road in exchange for immunity. Carpolese, in a statement to Motherboard, denied any involvement with the Deep Web website. A federal study released by the National Academy of Sciences has concluded that there is no effective alternative to the government's practice of mass data collection of digital communications. The report said no software-based technique can fully replace the bulk collection of signals intelligence. The authors called for limits on how the data is viewed and used, but not in limiting how much information is collected. The committee behind the report said stopping or slowing data collection will deprive analysts of necessary information. Countering the report, the ACLU said supporting continued bulk data collection would be a mistake. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by WatchMyBit.com, the first ever micropayment-based video service. If you're a content creator, visit WatchMyBit.com to learn how you can use Bitcoin to generate revenue for your art. That's WatchMyBit.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, January 16th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. An investigation by the Washington Times has found that nonprofit organizations funded by billionaire George Soros helped fund protests in Ferguson and contributed to social media campaigns. The Times reports the Open Society Foundations gave at least $33 million in grants to a number of groups involved in grassroots activism following the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Some groups monitored and exploited news events that they could portray as a conservative misstep. The groups use shared content and buzzwords to create a social media echo chamber of Facebook likes and Twitter hashtags that would garner media attention. Kenneth Zimmerman, the director of the Open Society Foundation's U.S. programs, said the groups were funded by Soros through the foundation, but stressed the nonprofit did not have the ability to control or dictate what others say or choose to say. The former mayor of Aguala, Mexico, has been charged in the kidnapping of 43 students who have been missing since September of 2014. Former Mayor Jose Luis Abarca Thomas Zeron, Director of Criminal Investigations at the Federal Attorney General's Office, stated that a warrant had been issued for Abarca's arrest and 44 other officials. The student's disappearance has been connected to local police working with a drug gang in collaboration with the mayor and his wife. The Liberty Beat is sponsored in part by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat. For Friday, January 16th, 2015, I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. America is at a crossroads on many issues, leading many to ask, is it time for the president to blow the silver horn left behind by the founding fathers in case the country ever needed them? Of course, the horn, which has been sitting in the Oval Office since 1817, has never been used by a commander-in-chief, but many Americans think now might be the time to summon our forefathers. Which founding fathers would come back? 
All of them. Uh, look, look, when you have a bug problem, you call the exterminator. When you have an America problem, you call the Founding Fathers. Uh, they know what to do. We look, have to keep in mind the Founding Fathers left us with a warning. If you blow the horn with less than pure intentions, it will turn to tin and can never be used. But a president has to take risks, have the courage to admit that his administration is not all-knowing, and, and, and blow that magic silver horn to summon someone who is. Yes, but what if we become too reliant on them and they disappear after the next new moon, as was written? Yeah. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You, as always, are invited here to take control of these airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. And, of course, you can join us via Skype at username lrn.fm. However, the Skype username will not be available to you until further notice because that is where our special guest is currently on the line. So if you would like to talk to... Lionel. He is a legal and news analyst. His podcast can be heard at lionelmedia.com, also now on lrn.fm. And you can follow him on YouTube at Lionel Nation, Twitter at Lionel Media. We have his Lionel, 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 <laughs> Lionel, 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 from New By York the way, City. The number you just gave, there were like 36 numbers in that. What the hell was that? You mean the call-in number? number? 525 <laughs> You want to do that, see if anybody even... <laughs> Don't worry. We'll give it out again. 259-226, what have you, 952-7025. free if you'd like to you? talk to Lionel. Lionel, hey, uh, you know, it's been too long since we've had you on. We were talking briefly before the show that the last time you were on, we weren't even a syndicated radio show. We were uh, just a little talk show in Sarasota, Florida, uh, over a decade ago. And unfortunately, that was like the one lost or one or one of two or three lost episodes of Free Talk Live. So that archive does not exist. You're the only <laughs> guest we've ever had on that we don't have an archive of. Well, it's self-destructed by yeah. virtue. It's, <laughs> it's just it's like if you throw something out into the field, it decomposes. Unless it's a McDonald's hamburger or something. Now listen, that's terrific. I think it's, I cannot applaud you enough and say, this is fantastic. This is great. I don't want to call it a spoken word, which I hate that. It's so stupid. <laughs> First of all, what, written word? What is that, print? I call it outspoken word, but this is great. This is terrific. And you also have the requisite name in your liberty, freedom. Um, you never hear like abuse radio network, torpor. <laughs> Radio on you No, know, it's always like liberty, freedom, uh, freedom, liberty, talk, honesty, truth. <laughs> no, no, think about this. In the old days, it was pig power. Um, what are some of those? Like power. The matter. red hot mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now to show you where. Now think about this. This is an. It's a, this is an indication, an indicium, if you will, of of where our our world is, rather than going into. Boss and magic and zoos and cues. And now it's liberty, freedom, honesty, freedom, absence of, I mean, cars. what does that tell you? Look where the mindset is. The first thing people, nobody says like sexy talk, dot FM or chicks and no, it's freedom and liberty. This is where we are. And I think somewhere neath that monstrously hideous uh, paragraph that I just recited, there's some kernel of truth. This is where we are today. People are yearning for some kind of, of um, you know, honesty because it's not here. No doubt about that. I've seen. Now, uh, you know, a long time ago, you were you started in, and I don't want to do too much history here, but you know, we kind of share a little bit of uh, some roots. We're both we're all from the, the we're Tampa fans Bay. of Lionel. We're yeah, certainly, and we're all You're from the, the Tampa Bay area originally. I, so I kind of grew up uh, listening to, to Lionel on nine seventy WFLA, where our show Sackler. has been as well. And then you move. Is to, it there now? Still? It is not, unfortunately. They, uh, they we got bumped by paid programming. Yeah, yeah, they got to cash a check. Radio uh, crack, right? Yeah. Weekend colon blow, and uh, <laughs> that's exactly right. I think it was a real estate show. I love about those. I used to do this thing. Just th this has nothing to do with anything, but just just indulge me. I used to work. Uh, used to do W O R, and then on the weekends we would do these you know Saturday shows, and I would listen. And and in its heyday, it was nothing but radio crack. And there was a show. I don't know what it was. Some paid 
barter trade, something or other, about colon cleansing. And invariably, I would hear this one fact, this meme, this factoid. And by the way, factoid is not a fact. Nope, it's the opposite. But, but exactly. It's almost like... It's uh, truthy. Yeah, truthy. It's it's purported as fact. It's, but anyway, but this... Sounds factual. Uh, resembles a fact. <laughs> yes. It's a fact-esque. Anyway, but <laughs> as it said that uh, John Wayne, upon his death, they found 45 pounds of undigested, blah, you know, it's some bezoar, <laughs> some intestinal clog, and that would be the introduction. Yeah. And I would hear every Saturday when I got done with my ship and I'm walking out the door and I would hear John Wayne. I thought maybe that's why he talked like that. Come here, you. I'm in pain. <laughs> so anyway, I thought to myself, and it was followed by vitamins, followed, followed by, you know, live forever. Mm. Uh, the big thing today, cleansing. Uh, everything's a cleansing. Yeah. Have a cleanse, and so anyway. So for some reason, whenever I I think of this man's legacy, this great actor, <laughs> John Ford. When you see J John Wayne, I think of undigested. By the way, a great word is a bezoar. B e z o a r. It's a it's an undigested, like mass. It was also used huh. as a poison. But that's a great. Word to work into a conversation. If you want I really to don't have the time it. for it. <laughs> oh, you know, I love this about you, Lionel. <laughs> Listening to uh, you, and you do. You're very active on your YouTube channel at uh, Lionel Nation on YouTube, and or Lionel Y2K. Either one. I, ah, I, I didn't know I you had two. It. Well, it's the same thing. Oh, okay, okay. Who knows? I whatever. Yeah. So you know, normally when you're listening to Lionel, you gotta have a dictionary nearby because he is uh, tossed out a few. Yeah, he's got some. Uh, you've got quite the vocabulary, Lionel. And uh, you know, when did you get so interested? You in have words? one of those little calendars you peel off, and it's like the new one for every day. <laughs> I mean, you know, I went to I gifted did. school, and I don't understand a lot of the things that you said. I did years ago. Word of the day was was wonderful. By the way, nobody ever. You know, they give me a lot of grief for that. Like, what do you use those? What are you, some Susquehannian, some logo Daedalus, some logo file? Yes, what? you. Why, are. <laughs> why are you talking? But when nobody ever says, hey, how come you're playing that arcane jazz great music I've never heard before? Nobody ever says that. Mm. Nobody ever says, hey, why do you keep serving me this great food with flavors I've never had before? Hey, I don't recognize this particular cuisine, but damn, it's good. No, nobody says that. But if you throw a word instead of saying, hey, thanks so much for teaching me that, they say, hey, why are you trying to impress me with that? It, oh, it, no, it kind I, of shows you the anti, no, not you, yeah. you but, but it goes to show you the anti-intellectual <laughs> nature of our, you know, people. We're basically cretinous. Certainly. I mean, I love it. I can watch a video where you're actually saying something I totally agree with, so there's no new content there that, you know, I've necessarily learned from. But I'll always learn a word or two, typically, because I always have to grab, you know, go into a dictionary and figure out what it is you actually said. And uh, Isn't that refreshing? Yeah, LOL, OMG. <laughs> M-O-U-S-E. So one of the videos I was watching most recently, uh, and there have been a series of them, uh, was the uh, Charlie Hebdo thing. And, <laughs> you know, we haven't at all, really, Mark. I don't know if you've talked about it when uh, when I wasn't on with you. My name's not Mark. I know. Mark's the guy sitting across <laughs> from me. Uh, but, uh, Mark, you, you and I, we haven't talked about this, I don't think, at all, the Charlie Hebdo. It's been in the news big, and we've basically been ignoring it because we've really been talking about other things like the That's Silk Road That's the trial. spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore that crap. So, uh, But I figured, you know, once I saw you talking about it, and I, and I heard what you had to say, I thought, gosh, you know, Lionel's fired up. Let's let him talk about this uh, with our audience. So what uh, what do people need to know, I guess, about Charlie Hebdo? And I guess maybe a summarize, you know, what happened? There was a shooting, some alleged Muslims, etc. Can you start us at the beginning? And then That's why are you so it. upset? You want to be work on the network, you know. <laughs> Hi, it's uh, you know, uh, CNN reporting. Some alleged Muslims, some shooting. That's about it. Next, things in your bathroom that can kill you. Eight after the hour. Well, here is the thing. First, let me try to tell you my the problem I have with most people. They can't handle simultaneous thoughts simultaneously. At the same time? Concomitantly. They can't do it. And there was a guy years ago, I always give this example, there was a guy on Ed Sullivan years ago that I loved when I was a kid. I watched him. It was this guy who, I, who there was a stick, and he would spin plates, and he had a name. And anyway, he would spin these plates, and he'd have six or seven plates all spinning at the same time. And I, would, as, as a kid, would say, watch out, they'll drop, as if it's made out of you know, Semtex or some kind of plastic, plastic explosive. It's okay. But anyway, <laughs> but by analogy, you've got to be able to handle four or five different issues and each one does not negate or counter the other one. Now, first, let's say this one time and get this out of the way. I, and I don't want to speak for you, but I believe 
that for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I'm sorry. I believe you don't even know that joke, but somewhere, somebody. I'm sure that's a song somewhere. <laughs> it, in my perfect world, you should be able to print. Well, oh, there's the music. Well, uh, there. We go. He's done this before. Stand, <laughs> Stand by. See if Lionel can hit the post. We will bring you uh, back here in a moment. More with Watch Lionel. Back time it. Our toll-free number, you gave, you heard him give it out earlier, but I'll give it again. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. We'll talk Charlie Hebdo here in moments. You can also take control. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is January 5th, 2014, and gold opened at 1197.90. A one-ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1242.08, 621.04 for a half ounce, or 310.52 for a quarter ounce. That's 1242.08, 621.04, and 310.52. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. 
It's Free Talk Live. In the live Saturday edition, you can, of course, bring up anything you want, but you'll have to hold off on that until after we're done with our special guests. And we don't do guests very often, so they're all special to us here on Free Talk Live. He is Lionel, and we'll bring him back here in just a moment, but want to inform you first about how to get a pound of some of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox for free. All you have to do is pay the shipping cost. They send you a pound of coffee, and you get it over at coffee.freetalklive.com. Shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica. This is great coffee, but they're also doing great work because a portion of the profits from each pound is actually being loaned out in the form of microloans via kiva.org. So we're actually helping people in very difficult parts of the world make a better life for themselves. And you can help that as well by getting on the auto ship program and signing up over at coffee.freetalklive.com. Again, you just pay the shipping cost. They send you the free pound and you can cancel your subscription at any time. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. Lionel is back with us here and I presume you are in uh, New York City, yes? That is correct. How long have you been in New York? It's been a long time since you've uh, lived in 20, Tampa. Uh, 21 or so years, roughly. Uh, 20 years. You had a long career in Tampa Talk Radio, transitioning to New York City. Ultimately from, from the legal uh, profession. Yeah, that's right. You were yep. a prosecutor at one time and a defense attorney. Prosecutor, defense attorney, and uh, licensed to practice in Florida and in New York. And I still do that as well. Really? I'm a man of, oh, yeah, absolutely. I didn't that. I'm a, in fact, I'm also doing, um, again, I hate the word uh, stand up, but I um, do outspoken. I hate stand up too, but outspoken word, I call it. And bluegrass, I do that. Hmm. Essayist and that. And anyway, just a lot of stuff you can read about that. But let's talk about Charlie Hebdo, if I yeah, could, just for a second. Okay. Please. First of all, you got to understand that in my perfect world, I don't care what you say, as long as it's not the obvious, you know, child pornography, snuff films, which don't really exist. But hmm. aside from that, I don't care what you do. You can write whatever you want, and my recourse is not to buy it, look at it, like it, whatever it is. And I don't. And I think we all can agree sure. you shouldn't kill anybody for whatever reason. Um, no matter, even even if your religion says in paragraph nine, page three, that you must kill, that's per se ridiculous. Now let's get that out of the way because nobody, but nobody is quarreling except for. A couple of fanatics you'll see here or there on YouTube, but that's not the issue. Here is the part that gets me. What they actually wrote, the quote, cartoons, which sound so euphemistic and harmless and cute mm. and sweet, like Far Side or The Onion or, you know, um, I, whatever cartoons you like. This is different. Uh, Charlie Hebdo, originally Charlie Harakiri from 1970, was a piquant, abrasive, horrible, deliberately anger-generating series of panels that were, yes, drawn in pen and ink, and that's, I guess, a cartoon, but it started really with blasting De Gaulle, and it was meant to show the most horrible of, of pictures. Well, for, before we go on, uh, for our American audience, De Gaulle was a very famous French president. <laughs> De Gaulle of you, they would have robbed me, yeah. <laughs> Charles de Gaulle, he was the prime minister, he was the president, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, but it was really, I mean, really tough. There is no version here in our world. And, and I'm looking in my adult, in my entire life, I don't know anything that has ever even come close to that of their standard, right? So, for example, pictures of black people, uh, oh, the black, uh, the, yes, the, the black um, a justice minister from France was depicted as an ape, mm. uh, pictures of Jesus inserting crucifixes and crosses, you can imagine where. Uh, I mean, now, that doesn't mean that my sensibilities, oh, I do declare ret, you know, I'm not going to get the vapors, but I think they're <laughs> lousy. Nobody would ever put them in their local newspaper, their mm -hmm. campus newspaper. Nobody would, because we are, of course, the United States of politically correct sensitivity. So this idea of calling them, it's a cartoon, and John Stewart and his 300 writers, all right, let me get this straight, you wouldn't put this on your show. Now, years ago, you may have seen this, you can, you can Google this, during the height of, or height, as some people say, 
uh, of uh, during Hitler's reign of terror. They had these horrible depictions of Jews in the most just prototypical, stereotypical, horrible, hook-nosed, uh, uh, Shylock, angry. Those are not cartoons. Right. Well, how many people would say, I am Hitler today, right? Like, they wouldn't right, do right. that. Exactly. So what happens is you get into this ridiculous, this pusillanimous and feckless and, and an ignorant group of, dare I say, a lot of folks who get into the meme and the hashtag world, mm. and they get into this, this, this meme activism, and they don't even realize that what they're saying is absurd. So what it is is, you better understand, I am not... Je, uh, je suis ne, ne pas, whatever the hell it is, Charlie. I'm not Charlie. It's it's coarse. It's horrible. And these hypocrites who are saying, oh, look at me. Look, I'm holding up a pencil. Well, I'm holding up three pencils. Hey, Morgan, get the Instagram. Mom will sure love this. I'm going to post this. Well, I'm going to put my meme is a pen, a fountain pen, as though you know what that is, with red ink, meaning blood. Ooh, wait, wait, my meme is, stop it. Let's look at the pictures. Forget Muhammad. And by the way, do you know how many Muslims have actually drawn and depicted pictures of Muhammad? I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's another myth. I don't know where that was. It wasn't that they showed a picture of Muhammad. It's what Muhammad was, was doing. doing. <laughs> yeah. So that now was said, look, let me tell you something. If you walked up to a bunch of bikers or you walked up to a group of whatever and you said something deliberately uh, a piquant, a piquant rather, and confrontational and insulting, you're going to get your arse handed to you. That doesn't justify it, but it's going to happen. Sure. So I just want John Stewart and all these other hypocrites to understand. First of all, if you really are Charlie Show the damn picture. In fact, I got one better for you, John. Let me pick the one from my favorite edition, and I dare you. Right, because I double dare. One of the things you were saying uh, previously on one of your videos at uh, Lionel Nation on YouTube is that a lot of these people who are claiming to be Charlie Ebdo and are claiming to you know stand in solidarity with free speech, they haven't seen anything that Charlie right. Ebdo has ever done. <laughs> Except for maybe this one thing. Exactly. That's the part that kills me. You've never seen it. You've never looked at it. So here's the deal. Number one, um, it's wrong. We already said that. Two, uh, I, I find it. And by the way, I'm not even. Let me explain something. I've never been offended. For example, if I see something that's very anti-Semitic or anti-whatever it is. Here's my reaction. Much like to uh, the comedy of P.J. O'Rourke. That's not funny. <laughs> that's not funny. Now, I'm not going to say, put that away. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's, that's not funny. Some things I never thought Emo Phillips was funny. Is that that music again? You got it. Stand that's by. That. Thanks. I'm on a roll here. Lionel, we will bring you back here in moments. And he's willing to talk to you as well. So if you've got a question for Lionel from LionelMedia.com and also Lionel Nation on YouTube, you may call in toll free. 855-450-FREE. More on the way here. Charlie Ebdo. Talk continues on Free Talk Live. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. 
Well, our own Rebecca Mera takes us on a tour of the Olympic Village. We have a full-size bed, oh, yeah? lounge area, shower, yes. plenty of space, which is great because I'm constantly having sex in there. The Village is a temporary home to the world's most physically impressive athletic men and women. It was important to the Olympic Committee to give them a comfortable, state-of-the-art area to f*** each other's brains out while they're not competing. We have a, a pool where they can have a sex, a theater where they can have a sex. All these athletes are hot, horny, ready to go. Mm -hmm. They deserve the best. I was in Vancouver and I got eaten up by this French speed skater. I have to say, these facilities are even better and I'm going to try to f*** a Japanese guy. You've spared no expense. These athletes deserve the best. They sacrifice so much for their countries. They deserve to be able to f*** until their b**** and p**** can't take it anymore. And these facilities won't go to waste. Once the Olympics are over, they'll be converted to a resort where Russian businessmen can come to f*** their prostitutes. This is the Onion News Network. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. If you have a question for Lionel, he is with us here. And our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. And join Lionel at his website, lionelmedia.com, where I am uh, very excited, Lionel, that uh, your podcast is now available to the world, which is a fairly recent decision. Uh, you had uh, had it behind a pay paywall for a while, and now anyone can well, subscribe. Well, I had to. I had to. I mean, come on. You know, when you have something this important, yeah, come on. It's like if you had a library, you don't want to charge people for your library. Don't you love that library, prostate surgery? Anyway, by the way, I'm digging your I, – I, you, I heard during your ads the great Alex Jones. Is he not fantastic or what? Seriously. <laughs> He is an entertaining character. That that much is for sure. I had the chance to meet him once at uh, Talkers in New York, as I imagine. You I believe you that. introduced him at that. Oh, you were there. I love him. I love, he is the. He, do you know how good he is? This is a guy who does three hours, and I mean, will not. Stop. I think he does four. I think he does four he does every overdrive. day. I mean, he yeah. look. He is. I. I just. I. I. He's one of my favorites. Truly. What I loved the most about him being at Talkers, and this for our listeners who don't know, is the uh, yearly talk radio kind of convention that happens in mm -hmm. New York City. Um, but he gave the keynote speech a few, yep. uh, probably like two or three years ago now. And uh, what I thought was most interesting was the, the reactions of the audience when uh, afterwards you would hear people talking about what he said. Isn't that great? 
Yeah. It was, by the way, Michael Harrison, a great friend. I said, listen, do me a favor. I have got to introduce him. You've got, you, I said, there, <laughs> there, there, is, there is no way around this. You understand that? And he said, yes, of course. Yeah. So Alex was there in the, in the back room, whatever. And I walked in. I said, listen, I'm going to introduce you. And Alex, of course, he doesn't know. He's met more nuts than you can imagine. And I said, I am a friend. I, I think he is one of the most important um, people around. People say, you know, Alex is kind of crazy. He's that crazy guy. So why is he crazy? Well, he kind of sounds sometimes. I said, well, you know, it's funny. On Sunday, I will watch various shows and flip to the dial, and I'll hear, in the blood of Jesus, ah, Jesus, praise God. <laughs> now, that's okay. Nobody says, hey, that guy's nuts. Was that your impression of a conservative a conservative talk show host? No, no, that was, was a year preacher. No, oh, preacher. No, 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 that was, that was a preacher. Thank <laughs> Sorry. you. What is this? What planet are you from? You didn't recognize that? Praise <laughs> God. In the name of Jesus. Ian, Ian doesn't, for being on the media, doesn't consume much of it. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. The man, <laughs> he's like that Japanese soldier that Gifted the war school. is over. What? It's over? <laughs> what the hell am I doing in this cave? I love this. Ian is my kind of guy. But anyway, but but Alex Jones is look. I can't say enough about him. Uh, he's terrific. Webster Tarpley is one of my pals. I love. I love. I. This is what I listen to. I love it. I mean, so, I think it's fantastic. Jo Paul Joseph Watson, the mon the monotonal, never gets excited. Writes this firebrand style, but the calmest dude you've ever met. Hmm. Fantastic. But enough about them. We're talking. It's yes. your show, and I'm and I'm hijacking it, and I'm sorry. That's okay. It's what we do on Free Talk Live. We literally let people come on the air and you know talk about whatever they want. But uh, you were talking about Charlie Hebdo, and you made a couple points, and I don't know if you had completed your points. That uh, I don't know either. Look, wanted to make. Look, the, the the point is is simply this: It's like okay, look, I'm sad that people were killed, um, but it's nasty stuff. And here's the thing: If you have been told by a group of people that they are going to blow you up or kill you or stab you. And you can say, you know, that's not right. But if you keep doing this, if your desire to put out these cartoons is that important, I suggest you beef up the security. I'll help as well. But let's not act surprised. And by the way, what was it? Did you see these, these leaders around the world in this back alley, back set? Some street in France. Okay, let's pretend like we're walking out in the middle of the open here. We have every, I mean, Netanyahu's security alone. Everybody lined up and down the street. So we're all showing up. Why are you showing up for this? Why? What is with Charlie? He I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mm. understand this. Help me out with this. So then, and then <laughs> James Taylor. Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, no. I, I'd what? love any opportunity to listen you didn't to James see that, Taylor. Ian? I, like Mark says, I don't watch television, so <laughs> Ian, <laughs> he doesn't listen to Rush Limbaugh the, either. What is the matter with you? You were this was the greatest. They brought they brought James Taylor. What? Maybe because Dan Fogelberg's dead? Is that it? What is this? We send over James Taylor to sing. You've got a friend. What the hell is that for? <laughs> well, it's to make up for not being in the in the uh, photo op. You know, the leaders of the world have a photo op, and one of and our guys aren't in it, and that's bad. <laughs> Bring Tower of Power, Bump City. Play. Oh, anyway, so now the other thing which I noticed, which is another issue, and Ian, you might you might have missed this as well. It's possible. The other night, the other night when they announced the or the other morning rather when they announced the nominees for the Academy Award. So somebody got through their head that this was too white and there wasn't diversity. Now, last year, what was it, 12 years of a slave? And blah, blah, blah. No problem. But <laughs> this year, well, this is racist. So Al Sharpton is going to go to Hollywood again. First, he was clamoring for diversity after the emails leaked from Sony Hack. You might have seen that, Ian. It was in all the papers. Yeah, I but saw that one. Al Sharpton <laughs> was going to go and take care of that. And now he's going to address this lack of diversity Basically, so so here is my question: When does diversity become racist? It's not state sponsored. Mm -hmm. There's there's no police action or state action. It's it's the it's Hollywood and the Oscars. But when does diversity and the lack of heterogeneity equate or turn into racism? I I mean there is no I I don't if if you look at the NBA, country music, opera, 
NASCAR, if you, the Junior League, if you just look, you will say, you know, I don't see a lot of diversity. Is that wrong? Or is it that these people just happen to be of a particular demographic or style or ilk just innocently? I'm looking at your studio feed. I don't see people of color or Asians or any Islanders in your studio. You're just <laughs> assuming I'm white, Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lionel, let's go to the phones and to the fun, shall we? We have John Absolutely. on the line with us. He's listening in Grand Rapids, Minnesota to WNMT. Hey, John, you're I on with see. Lionel. Yeah, hi, Lionel. Um, I was wondering, could you explain briefly, why did we invade Iraq? Boy, nothing like a topical question, <laughs> I always say. Can I talk about the Maine in 1898 in Havana Harbor? Do you mind about that, the first false flag? <laughs> no. It's a good question. What is your name, Dick? Is that it? Dick? Did John. I get the name right? John. John in Grand Rapids. What, what, whatever. From Grand Rapids. Even got the state wrong. It's Michigan. We all know that. But anyway. <laughs> um, ostensibly, it was because of 9-11, which has no... <laughs> I was here for 9-11. And I remember it well, as many people did. And when I heard Iraq, I thought, huh, Iraq? Okay, whatever. And at the time, I myself admit to being so crazed by what had happened that you could have said, let's invade Grand Rapids. And I would have said, fine. Uh, in retrospect, it had nothing to do with it. Afghanistan had nothing to do with it. Afghanistan, by the way, uh, parenthetically happens to be the Saudi Arabia of lithium and uh, uranium and rare earth metals and natural gas and cobalt and gold and manganese and a whole bunch of other stuff too. So it just so happens. You know, the great Gerald Salenti, I don't know if you've ever heard him. He's one of my favorites. Gerald Salenti said, you will never see us invading a country whose main export is broccoli. So it just so happens that the hub of terrorist activities around the world always happened to be an energy-rich uh, country or source. So I think that probably had a lot to do with it. John, thank you for the call, sir. I appreciate it. Toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. Mark, you were all steamed up after the 9-11 uh, attacks, but Lionel, you were there in New York City at the time. How long did it take you to actually cool down and look at things for, with a clear uh, clear mind? 12 years. No, yeah. I, actually, um, it, I'm, I'm still not. I'm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I think he's got, like, PTSD around uh, outro music. Run, run a break. All right, hang on. <laughs> Lionel, stand by. Well, we'll bring it back for one more segment in moments and enough All time. All those years in radio just twisted him. There's enough time for you if you get your call in right now, if you want to talk to Lionel, and uh, you can ask any old random question you want. 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. When it was written in 1787, the U.S. Constitution featured a unique innovation, the presidency. Instead of making laws, the president executes the laws Congress makes, and Congress can limit his authority by cutting off his access to money. Our first president referred to the office he held with a humble term. For Washington, the president was merely the chief magistrate. Yes, the Constitution makes the president commander-in-chief of the American military, with ample power to defend the country when attacked, but no power to launch wars on his own. James Madison stressed that the war power should rest with Congress, arguing that the trust and the temptation would be too great for any one man. Madison's idea stands in stark contrast to the presidency as it exists today. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. 
We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can bring up anything you want. Also, the latest on the Silk Road case. We can get to that here uh, in a little bit. But we have our special guest, Lionel, on the line with us here from LionelMedia.com and also Lionel Nation on YouTube, at Lionel Media on Twitter. Lionel, thanks for uh, sticking with us here all hour long. Listen, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm so impressed. What a spot load. Wow. Inventory, baby. Woo. Way to go. <laughs> well, we can't exactly play blank air. No. Well, it's been done. Keith Jarrett <laughs> did that years ago in jazz. If, if, if you played the best of uh, PJ O'Rourke, you could. I kid. Him. <laughs> I kid. I don't want to bust balls about that. But... Um, but I would, but I don't even know where we were. We're talking about nine eleven. Oh that's yeah, it doesn't matter where gotta... we were. We can go anywhere you want, Lionel. But <laughs> actually, you. I was going to ask you about Silk Road. Have you followed that? Because that's one thing I can tell you about. Like I may not know anything about John Stewart or who, whatever. If it comes to psychedelic drugs, Ian's an expert. Yes. So uh, have you been following as a uh, an attorney uh, in New York City the Manhattan case of Ross Ulbricht? Uh yes. So our listeners have been relatively familiar with it, but just to recap, Ross Ulbricht is the alleged administrator of the underground uh, black market known as Silk Road, which was taken down a couple of years ago. He's been in prison ever since, awaiting his uh, what will apparently be four to six (laughs) weeks in court. And that is what has kicked off this past week. Uh, We've had pretty in-depth coverage about it here on Free Talk Live, but I guess I'm curious as to, uh, you know, what's your analysis on it? Well, I'll tell you this much. Um, what happened was, let's go back. The uh, the government uh, uh, turned its back and had no idea what happened when the internets, as it was called, and DARPA basically created this monster. The genie was out of the bottle, and they've done, done everything they could in the meantime to try to reclaim it through um, CISPA and TPP and uh, through uh, uh, SOPA, and now going after uh, everybody who has done anything vaguely resembling um, using the internet in any way, supposedly for 
uh, drug purposes or, or sex or what have you. And this is to try to get more control over it. Here's the question mm -hmm. that I have. Why is the internet, other than being a medium, it is a medium of, of uh, transmission of thought, more drug deals than ever have been done using telephones and before that telegrams perhaps maybe in careers and speaking and talking and writing and and the english language and maybe morse code what we're doing is we're missing the, the fact missing the problem that the medium of transmission is not the problem so what this is is again the government trying its best and remember after the sony hack business and with charlie hebdo and others they're going to use their best efforts and this is every president whether it's obama or bush or whoever the next dude or dudette is, through CISPA and versions of CISPA, they're going to try to reclaim control. That's what this is all about. It's basically to try to get the internet back, to shut it down, and to put into play the kill switch, which you and I know is already there. So then your uh, assessment is that should this go in the favor of the states, and sure, you know, it's a tough, it's going to be a tough, tough one to get a not guilty on all the the charges, especially with Ross Ulbricht actually admitting in the very opening statements of the trial that uh, he was the creator of the Silk Road, but claiming that he uh, let go of control after just a few months and then was somehow lured back in. Uh, the, a lot of people are concerned that you know if he's found guilty that this is going to open the Pandora's box to where the government could then go after you know Free Talk Live for something that someone does on our comments oh, section. And it's Poor coming. Pandora. It's and it's coming. It's, it's coming. What they're also going to do is they're going to try. But going back to what I said, let me just make sure I, I, I clarify this. I do not care about the medium that the illegal activity is, 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 is used on or in. I talk about the, the illegal activity. That's what we should be going after, not the environment or the medium or the, uh, uh, the highway of information that one used to either sell drugs or illicit uh, materials or what have you. Look. We are under attack right now. The most important thing that we have is the internet. I keep saying this again. Nobody understood what this happened. Nobody knew what this was. And they are doing everything in their power to shut it down. Watch what happens when BRICS cable comes around and puts up their own version of this ever since Angela Merkel was very, very upset uh, with what happened. By the way, let me do this. I'm looking at my clock now because you got me so freaked out because I'm going to hear that music anytime. <laughs> If we can go a little bit more, can, can, do, do, I, I don't want to uh, interrupt your, your very uh, tightly uh, managed show here, <laughs> but you mentioned 9-11. 9-11 was my birth, my rebirth. It's when I awoke or was taught or, uh, remember the, the terrible term, broke your cherry. 9-11 changed everything for me. Everything, my world was redefined then. My politics, my perspective, my worldview everything and i want to make sure i could at least explain that to you because everything that we're doing today stemmed from that that was the watershed moment that was the integral part of the development of our history and the world and it's it's every single day i i realize how incredibly devastating that event was not just because of the obvious and the events but what it's done for civil liberties uh, globalization, fractionalizing, destabilizing uh, forces, geopolitical mayhem, uh, elitist banksters and globalist, uh, you know, asset stripping jackals and the whole bit. So if that's okay with you. Lionel, I'm fine with that. If you want to stick with us uh, on in through to hour number two till whenever you want to take off, you're welcome to do that. I you know, obviously don't want uh, to force you to stay too long. And by the way, I love the rumpus room look of your environment there. I'm <laughs> digging this. You can see it at cam.freetalklive.com. Right. Yep. I think this is fantastic. We are literally uh, in uh, my living room in Keene, New Hampshire, uh, is where we are doing the show from. Do you understand? Let me just explain this. Do you understand this is the future? The, the future is here. This is it. I mean, I would be so scared if I was, if I were the folks from conventional terrestrial, plain old mom and pop, you know, radio, stick radio. This is wonderful. And by the way, even though we are not limited by virtue of FCC regulations and the like. We are. Oh, yes, we are. Hold that thought, Lionel. <laughs> uh, we're you mean on... I can't say? <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> 
I hate having to use the dump box on a, on a guest. Um, but no, we are on a, a dozens of radio stations live right now. About 160. Free, yeah, Free Talk Live. While we are, you the know. Spanish count. No. <laughs> no. I've always thought it was funny. One time years ago, I remember on FLA spelling the words, and they said, that's okay. I said, what do you mean I can spell them? Yes, you can spell them. I said, but I'm saying them. No, you're not saying them. So I said, can I say them incorrectly pronouncing them? Give something a long I versus a short I, change the U, change the, <laughs> they go, that's okay. And I said, do you understand how insane what you are saying <laughs> to me right now is? Do you have any idea of what that is? But well, the FCC rules themselves are insane. They don't even, they, they can't even be clear as to, uh, to, to what it is that mm. you can say and what you can't. Well, yeah, the definition of obscenity is a very nebulous uh, definition. Well, we had a situation on a radio station that uh, we'd heard about where uh, apparently a Polish guy was uh, getting on the air and doing like a Polish polka morning mm. uh, show on Saturday morning, and he'd apparently cuss up a storm on the radio in polish in polish yeah. you know what knew about it because right. they didn't speak polish yeah, the no polish community had to report it to the station yeah, well, if no one complains you you know, obviously well, you get away if with a tree, it you know if a tree falls in the forest or whatever it was you know years ago we we had a guy and we're gonna hear the music at any moment i'm looking at my clock here but years ago we had a guy and and, and i can play this for you not here mind you but i, but I have a, a tape of it and it was in the afternoon we had a guy at the time who had, who put in a we had cart machines then he put in the cart to play to, to fire the cart and it was for a sounder bum, 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 right. bottom of the hour news he pushes puts a cart in hits the button now the most important button in the world the most important feature of any studio is the on air light you know when are you hot when are you talking when when is your mic hot when are you on it was behind him for some reason in the studio so when he pushed this button he turned his mic on thus turning his speakers down. So this is what you heard, and I'm going to clarify. I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit and expurgate and bodlerize and all that stuff. You heard this. Pause. Pause. Go! Go! G, D, D, F! Go! Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. Great Don Richards at the time said, I am 70 WFLA News. Today, Rebel Insurgents. F! Yes, I know. <laughs> and I to incorporate his reaction. And the lottery numbers are five. Oh, 50. wow. Yes. You Me got neither. that one, honey. You I got that one, huh? It was <laughs> a beaut. So as this happened, and the phone lines are going crazy, and the receptionist is coming in with that headgear and the plug saying, do you realize someone said, yes, we know that. <laughs> the, the station manager said, don't say anything about what happened. When we return, I will tell you exactly what I did. To rehabilitate that moment, which is now a part of radio history and gold. Stand by. Hey, More with Lionel here in moments, and he is extending his time with us, which I'm very grateful for because it's just too much fun. Uh, so we'll continue and uh, take some more calls if you'd like. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. There's more coming up in hour two of Free Talk Live. Ugh, cold winter weather. It makes my skin so dry, itchy, and irritated. Can I get some help, please, for this winter skin of mine? Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing has the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available. Its seven moisturizers help heal skin, so you'll stop itching and start feeling relief fast. Ah, my skin feels like it's been on vacation, even with 10 inches of snow outside. Itch-free, worry-free, Cortisone 10. Use as directed. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Ovaltine. Give your kids the nutrition they need to be their best. Visit us at OvaltineUSA.com. Telling your child about healthy food choices is important, but showing her what to eat goes a lot further. Have her help create the grocery list, then bring her to the store with you. Picking out healthy foods together helps kids get in the habit of thinking about what they're eating every day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Kingdom, the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, January 17th, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.81 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,280 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $200. Antiwar.com reports the Drug Enforcement Agency was revealed to have conducted secret surveillance of Americans' phone calls overseas in an operation that was totally separate from the already published NSA program. The Justice Department revealed the secret database in a criminal case this week, saying the DEA had collected information about Americans who were making calls to certain countries that they'd linked to drug trafficking. The scope of the program remains uncertain, as only its base existence was revealed in the case, and the fact that Iran was one of the countries targeted in the program. The program was active for years, though the Justice Department claims they ended the program in September of 2013. Senator Patrick Leahy from Vermont is pressing for additional information on the scheme. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. The Washington Post reports Attorney General Eric Holder on Friday barred local and state police from using federal law to seize cash, cars, and other property without proving that a crime occurred. Holder's actions represents the most sweeping check on police power to confiscate personal property since the seizures began three decades ago as part of the war on drugs. Since 2008, thousands of local and state police agencies have made more than 55,000 seizures of cash and property worth $3 billion under a civil asset forfeiture program at the Justice Department called Equitable Sharing. The program has enabled local and state police to make seizures and then have them adopted by federal agencies which share in the proceeds. The program allowed police departments and drug task forces to keep up to 80% of the proceeds of the adopted seizures with the rest going to federal agencies. Holder said in a statement with this new policy, effective immediately, the Justice Department is taking an important step to prohibit federal agency adoption of state and local seizures except for public safety reasons. Holder's decision allows some limited exceptions, including illegal firearms, ammunition, explosives, and property associated with child pornography, a small fraction of the total. This would eliminate virtually all cash and vehicle seizures made by local and state police from the federal program. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot fppradio.com. Reuters reports the U.S. Supreme Court on Friday agreed to decide whether states can ban gay marriage, delving into a contentious social issue in what will be the most anticipated ruling of the year. The court, in a brief order, said it would hear cases concerning marriage restrictions in Michigan, Kentucky, Ohio, and Tennessee. The ruling, due by the end of June, will determine whether 14 remaining state bans will be struck down. 
The court said it will decide two questions, whether states must allow same-sex couples to marry and whether states must recognize same-sex marriages that take place out of state. The court will hear an extended two and a half hours of oral arguments in April. Attorney General Eric Holder and President Obama's administration will file court papers supporting the plaintiffs and seeking to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Obama in 2012 became the first sitting president to support same-sex marriage. Holder said it's time for our nation to take another critical step forward to ensure the fundamental equality of all Americans, no matter who they are and where they come from or whom they love. Most of the states that are defending state bans had, like the gay rights advocates, urged the high court to take up the issue in order to resolve the legal uncertainty. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new report finds climate change skeptics could reach catastrophic levels by 2020. The nation's gratuitously sexual couples announce plans to wait in line at Six Flags. And Grandpa looks absolutely precious in his new baseball cap. Offering a one-stop shop for all your peerless online news summary needs, this is The Onion Week in Review. In response to the escalating violence and rising death toll in Gaza this week, Israel unveiled a new defense system to deflect accusations of human rights violations. Israeli officials praised the new safety structure's ability to intercept an international barrage of war crime allegations and divert criticisms of Palestinian civilian casualties before they can ever hope to make contact with the Jewish state. In other news, a new state law requires doctors to scale an 18-foot wall surrounding abortion clinics. A study finds high school students retain only one-third of their obsolete curriculum over the summer, and a man's anxiety is not about to let depression muscle in on its turf. This is the Onion News Network. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. We have our uh, our friend. I would like to call him a friend. I've met him a few times in real life, but probably that's probably not enough times to uh, to call him a friend. He's just a uh, super cool yes, guy. Yes, it is. Though. Okay, cool, cool. I'll take that, uh, Lionel. That's a, Lionel's that's here with us. You know, there's an old expression. Um, years ago, when I was complaining about practicing law, I said, "This, this stinks." I just started, and um, somebody came up to me. He says, "Yeah, but you know, you haven't been doing it that long." And an old trial lawyer walks up and says, yeah, but you don't have to eat the whole egg to know it's rotten. <laughs> so by converse, I guess you don't have to eat all of the chocolate to know you like it. So if you meet one time and you're friends, you're friends. Well, you must be enjoying yourself because you asked you could stay on longer. And, um, of course, I'm more than happy to oblige. Now, well, to, to be quite honest, one never knows um, how this goes. So before you commit a priori, kind of check it out. Absolutely. And it's better to add a, hey, do you mind if I, versus when did we say we were going <laughs> to, I don't want to feign kind of thing and just to get that one. Biomedia.com, your website. Let's uh, let our listeners know who are just now tuning in who you are. You're a legal and news analyst. You do podcasts at LionelMedia.com. You've got a YouTube channel at Lionel Nation and Twitter at Lionel Media. But, so thank you. What I'm doing right now, this is, this is very, just to let you know, I, I, I call myself a Renaissance lawyer. I'm a, I'm a practicing lawyer. I was a prosecutor in, in Florida years ago where we are the mass unit, uh, heavy uh, casualty, um, you know, Serious prosecution stuff. Nothing pretty. It was it was it was like mash unit, as I said. And then um, did radio, talk radio. I also doing a lot of TV. It was like Morning Joe, and I there's a great. Uh, I don't know if you get this uh, network Arise. It's out of uh, Africa and South Africa and UK. And I do RT, which I love with Abby Martin. And um, she's cool. Other, I've been on yeah. her show once. I heard everybody on RT hates America. Not at all. <laughs> no, no. You know, see, that's one of the things. Let me. I'm. I'm so glad you brought that up. When somebody says, "Do you love America?" I love the people. I love the stuff. Like I love Wyoming. I like. I like chili. I like our music. I think our music is probably the greatest thing that we've ever given to the world. Everything else is like, okay, you've got mountains and all this stuff. Do I like the government? No. 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 No, no, no. That's so why that's I love you, Lionel. So that's not America. So when they say, 
do you support our troops? I said, well, of course. Of course. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, I do. Well, let me tell you what happened. And, and I mentioned this 9-11 thing because this is the thing. Well, wait a minute. Do we finish the oh, story oh. of the, the news? Yeah, we did. The hell thing? with it. Okay. Well, okay, let me tell you. Let me go back again. In case you just tuned in. Uh, there was a case of this, this poor board op. He wasn't even an engineer because they're not union. He pushes this thing and he starts cursing on the air. As the newsman is giving the giving the news, <laughs> he is depressing his mic, and because of the, the configuration of the station, when you push the mic, you, the speakers go off. So he's yelling, F, G, D, S. <laughs> he's throwing words I've never heard of before. So he's doing this <laughs> stuff. And so the general manager walks in at the time, and he says, now listen, whatever you do, don't, don't bring this up. I said, Dave, the guy's been yelling. The phones are going Because <laughs> you were the host in the studio at the I time. I said, what do you mean, don't bring it up? Do I know? He goes, well, use your discretion. I said, okay. <laughs> well, that's not a good thing to tell Lytle. <laughs> so, yeah, so I said, well, folks, you're probably wondering what that was all about. And, well, our friend here has Tourette syndrome. Now, <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you what happened. And I thought, okay, you know, that was ha, ha, ha. Until somebody whose kid had Tourette syndrome wrote this very... Um, Serious letter, and I didn't know anything about it, and I didn't understand that the the, the the caprolalia, as it's called, the bad words, is really a very uh, a, a very infrequent uh, uh, symptom. It's ticks and OCDs and a lot of other things. And you know what? I swear, to you, I said, uh, yeah, clearing your throat. Uh, People who, who twitch their eyes, you might see people who blink incessantly. That's a form of it. Hmm. And I learned something right there. I do not make fun of that anymore. I just don't. Well, I really brought this show down, didn't I? <laughs> but the point is, I learned and you grow. And at the time, I said, you know, that's not funny. That's not, you know, you might not. You but might involuntarily not. cussing is funny, Lionel. I mean, I'm, I'm, I understand that, that it may be painful for some people, but at some point, every joke is painful for somebody. That's true. You're a sick, you're a sick man. And well, I love you for that. I'm not, Imagine, and I'm not no, going to apologize for it. But you got to wonder, you know, it, it's got to be tough when you are in, let's say, a very puritanical time, when when folks are, you know, they've never heard of this. I mean, imagine if you're Georges Guy de la Tourette. You know who came up with this in the uh, 19th century? Notice how I have that handy. Yeah, that's Battle pretty good. The internet, yes, and 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 so it, it's got to be horrible. And plus, people are thinking, you know, you're 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 possessed by witches. Anyway, so that was one of those moments of radio that was just absolutely wonderful. And that's when radio was fun because we had uh, people like Randy Michaels who ran it, and we were. It was. Body and fun, never, never, you know, scabrous or offensive, but it was on the edge and it was different. And it was before the left right paradigm came in and the rush wannabes completely contaminated and destroyed talk radio into this liberal, conservative, mostly conservative mm. nonsense. And it basically destroyed this wonderful medium that was local. It was fun. It was, it was, you know, very um, convivial. And where each each show and host was idiosyncratic and unique and sui generis and non pareil and they weren't cookie cutter and and it was that's gone, that's gone. Enter what you do, and I'm not being gratuitous when I say this. This is the future, because that's the way it used to be. You had freaky people and it was local and you could hear about water mains that broke and problems and now it's all homogenized and mm. the liberals and all this dreck and and I and and I. I have I have not heard, so help me God, I should go blind if I'm lying. I have not heard a conventional radio show like Rush or others in over 20 years. Seriously. Poor I mean, Mark, he second. actually listens to these shows, and, and it kind of leads me to something we were talking briefly about, or we were talking about it last hour. Uh, Mark, you listened to some of these other talk shows during the daylight hours in order to kind of headhunt their advertisers. Uh, it's kind of the reason you do it, because you're the you know head of sales for Free Talk Live. But in that process, you obviously have to hear what they're talking about. What have they been saying about Charlie Ebdo? I mean, you're, you're, you told me off the air that uh, they, they're p positing themselves as free speech, but they're using it as an excuse to attack people uh, who believe in Islam. Well, I mean, right? that, I think that that's 
Right. I mean, f- fortunately, I'm glad, I'm delighted that they're coming to the defense of free speech. I think free speech is great. However, <laughs> you, what you need, to, what you need to consider is, is um, like you can you can support free speech without supporting the people, what the people are saying, mm-hmm. and 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 you shouldn't. Right. Precisely. Yeah, and and also you shouldn't only support free speech when people are saying something you like. Precisely. And it looks so much like what they're doing is is uh, an opportunity to go Muslim uh, hunting. Oh. Um, I was hearing one of them uh, purporting the same old oh. saw that the uh, most of the terrorists in the world are Muslim, and you know if you look at the if, no, if they're you go, not, they're government agents. Most of the terrorists. Well, the um, uh, they're separatists generally, people with political views. Uh, you know, a belief is just a belief, in my opinion. Well, the definition of terrorism fits what government is perfectly. Well, you're being too idiosyncratic and too definitional. And by the way, most of the mafia is Italian. So what? What does that do? It doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. Look, let's look at the numbers, shall we? 1.6 billion Muslims on the planet. If 10% were these homicidal, raging, murderous uh, jihadists, which mm. is a bad use of the term, but if if 10%, that's 160 million right. running wild. You would see forest fires, trains derailed. You would see every tourist uh, park and event from Six Flags to Mall of America. You would see pipe bombs, people imploding. You you would see, because this is obviously the, what they're all about, and yet we have one of these every what? Ten one? years? Five years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One? Right. So do the math, as it were. And also, remember the wonderful BBC documentary, The Power of Nightmares. Give the country somebody scary with a funny accent and a funny name and a funny hat and a veil and a religion nobody understands, and you can move the world. As our sure. Well, I mean, said. yeah, back in the 1980s, uh, it was the, the war on drugs that had everybody scared, and now it's the war on terrorism. There has to be some sort of boogeyman out there uh, to distract people from what's actually going on, which is, of course, where they're being ruled by people calling themselves uh, the government. But stand by, Lionel. We'll come back with more. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, well, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, and, of course, 
Osha. Osha? I thought that was a little town of Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to see, think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Lionel is with us now until further notice, and uh, he's basically <laughs> co-hosting, basically a co-host uh, at this point, Lionel. Until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, sir, that's enough of this. He's here with us via Skype, by the way. So if you've been trying to call on Skype, you are SOL tonight. You need to call the regular toll-free lines to get on the air with us. 855-450-FREE. 1793-215-7922. And LionelMedia.com is his website. Our website is FreeTalkLive.com. You can go there and get interactive. You can actually submit content right there to the front page of the site. It's a Reddit-based front page. So uh, you connect your Free Talk Live account with your Reddit account. It's all free. It takes just a moment. And then it's easy to get interactive at FreeTalkLive.com. And if you care about your online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data so your internet service provider will no longer know what you're doing once you start using ProXPN software, which you can download for free right now at their website, proxpn.com slash FTL. You go there and you grab their software for Windows or Macintosh, iOS devices, as well as Android devices, plus Linux users. You can even get ProXPN working. It's just a bit of a different setup process. Still pretty simple, though. proxpn.com slash FTL. Use code FTL50 to save 50% off the price of the annual account. And by the way, that 50% off locks in for the lifetime of your account. So the next year when you want to renew for another year, you still get that great discount. So you, with the premium account, get unlimited bandwidth. Servers around the world that you can access, you can privately torrent, you can get past regionally blocked websites, and you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN, by the way, does not keep records of your online habits at all. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, use promo code FTL50, and get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. We're with Lionel. His YouTube channel is called Lionel Nation. His Twitter is at Lionel Media. So you get the Twitter thing. You seem to be into the Twitter thing, Lionel. And, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, we're just not on. Uh, I mean, we've got a Twitter on Free Talk Live, but it honestly, shows. we just it don't shows. really get it. Well, it's you know, it's it's funny that you do this. Have you ever met somebody in your life who uh, goes nuts on booze or gambling or porn? Of course. Or okay, sometimes because of our unique um, neuronal, I guess, circuitry, we certain things potentiate our behavior. I know Facebookers. You know, Facebook is for narcissists, but Twitter's for exhibitionists. And there's different different ways of things that, and it's weird because certain people just. They lend themselves to it. But more importantly, going back to what I was saying, and I don't, I don't even know where I was going, but... 9-11, uh, something about it changed your life. There you go. That's terrific. You know, the, prior, prior to that, I had no idea. I mean, I thought I knew a lot of stuff. I believe in this very mannequin, apodictic, left and right, Democrats, Republicans, good, evil, up, down. No, that, that was it. 
and maybe a great a shader to like a libertarian. And that was about as complex as I got. And mm. I'm and I'm telling you the truth. But what happened was I saw what that event in that day. And I'm not going to try to tell you that my event was worse than others or what I saw was horrible because everybody who was here suffered in their own way. Many worse than others who actually lost loved ones. But what happened was, I remember one night I was watching, um, I was um, on, uh, I think it was OR at the time. And we were talking about the five events that happened, building one, building two. Building 7, which I didn't know about at the time because I, I thought it was Building 1. And I'm here. I had no idea. Building 7, what the hell is that? Anyway, hmm. and most people don't know. Shanksville, Flight 93, of course, and then the Pentagon. There were really five events and then other issues as well. So I remember at the time looking, and I, somebody said Flight 93, and I said, okay, and, and I'm doing this thing. And, and I happened to turn kind of the way you are, and I looked at my monitor, and I'm bringing up Flight 93, and I'm looking. And I never noticed this picture before. And here I was talking about this for weeks at a time uh, without any question because I, I, I didn't question anything. I didn't, I don't question news. I don't question, especially something like this. What do you question, World War II? What are you questioning? Well, there's, there's, there's no, it's, it's, it's what happened. And I looked and I saw, and if you look right now, Shanksville, Flight 93, I saw this kind of a dimpled, kind of a pockmarked little scarred divot, big kind of an in dented portion of it, some steam or smoke or something, a couple of fire trucks, and I asked on the air the question, I asked, where's the plane? And I wasn't being cute. I thought maybe I had the wrong picture. I thought maybe there was, I, 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 I never really looked at this. I've been talking about it. I was reading about it, but I never looked at it. The phone calls came in. What are you talking about? What are you getting at? Because I'm not getting at anything. What are you talking about? And I realized from that moment on that something very interesting is happening here. It was a multiplicity of ideas. Number one, the media are lazy. Number two, the mainstream media in particular are repeaters, not reporters. Mm. They are apparatchiks for the government. They just, they are. They an rip extension. and read, man. A press release comes out from the state and they right. just read it verbatim. And if anybody questions the state, and, and by the way, you know, we've encountered these situations where, uh, you know, talk show hosts, they're discouraged from being actually independent in any way of the state because they want to get their interview with president so and so or governor or whoever. And, uh, you know, so they won't ask any tough questions because they want the, you know, these politicians to come back and grace them with their presence again. It's despicable. Well, and I, you know, when I just, I mean, I have been ever since an, as a student of that, of that event, and I will tell you unequivocally that I have never in any way seen any information or data or suggestion that our direct government, anybody I can mention by name, any other government was involved in anything. There's no, ins I, I, I don't know any evidence of inside jobs. Another thing I realize that people don't understand that just because something doesn't make sense does not mean it is evidence of something nefarious mm -hmm. just because there's a causal interruption in in the evidence for example people will say well why, why, why do you believe in evolution there's there's missing fossil records the absence of the record does not mean absence of evidence or absence. so i went through all that to make a long story short i realized at that moment goodbye mainstream media goodbye and i looked and all of a sudden i realized not only were the people like Alex, and I'm not, I'm not necessarily an acolyte of everything he says, but he did teach me one thing. Give me a citation to your opinion. When you say something happened, if you said that uh, Tunisia was involved in a blah, 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 if you say that uh, uh, the Nubian sandstone aquifer was a reason for the not blah, 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 if you talk about Qaddafi, give me a citation, give me an article, give me, give me something. Don't just opine. That is something that you'll never hear on conventional radio and news. And I also realized that the left-right paradigm, the left-right, two sides of the same coin argument, was ha I had nothing to do with that. 9-11 from that moment maybe was a confluence of events. I backed off from mm. everything that I was before and became this new version, and I do not fit into any party, any ideology, any label. I can fit in now with everybody. I could go, see, I'm a vegan by choice. Really? I can go to any restaurant and I can eat anywhere. I go to any buffet and I can pick out something I can eat. That's why I can go on any show, Fox, MSNBC, and I will pick out something that I agree with 
that they will agree with, and they'll think, ah, you're a conservative, you're a liberal. <laughs> no, out of my mosaic of ideas, you and I agree on this one issue. Stand and by. That's... Lionel's with us here from LionelMedia.com. We're going to bring him back, and your calls are welcome. The toll-free number, in fact, we've got some folks on the line. We will go to you with Lionel here in moments. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- 4503733 you can take control here on Free Talk Live's live Saturday edition more coming up You ever hear about Ghost 80% AR15 rifle kits at guns80.com they are the 80% specialists helping to protect our privacy Look, there are forces out there right now trying to register guns for future confiscation UN treaties threatening our second amendment our freedom You need a Ghost AR15 get it at guns80.com call 844 844- Two guns 80. That's 844-248-6780. Own an AR-15 today and keep it a secret. Go to guns80.com. That's guns80.com. 844-2-GUNS-80. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me like, Do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com so the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like toll-free here 
855 450 free. Also, uh, you well, actually, normally you can call us on Skype, but tonight you can't because we've got special guest co host Lionel from lionelmedia.com. He's with us here tonight. He started as a guest. We've now promoted him to co host of the show. Uh, welcome back to the world of talk radio, Lionel. It has, uh, I've missed you uh, being on talk radio, but it's been great. Your YouTube channel's awesome, and you put content out. I don't know if it's daily, but it seems like daily. How often are you publishing over on uh, Lionel Nation on YouTube? Seven times an hour. Um, I, I kid, of course. <laughs> and I, I um, am doing podcasting at Lionel Media. Uh, that will be done daily. Oh, excellent. I and am now, uh, I, let me tell you something. There is a, Something very interesting. When you do an hour straight, 37 minutes, 40 minutes straight, mm -hmm. no, or as some people say in Pennsylvania, straight. But when you do that um, and there's no commercials, no break, no no bumper, no uh, uh, stop sets, no nothing, that's great. It's cathartic. Try it sometime. I tell people who say, ah, talk radio is kind of interesting. Good. Try that. Talk by yourself. Sound, don't sound like a rambling idiot. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a special You're talent. Right. Monologuing, um, we on Free Talk Live, I think, I, I don't know the reason why we have two hosts, but we have two hosts, and it's... It's because I don't want to listen to myself talk is the reason why I brought uh, co-hosts on Free Talk Live back when we started the show. I just, I don't find myself that interesting. I like the interaction. I like the... Well, I can understand why. Yeah. <laughs> I kid. No, Me I, too. I kid, of course. Well, there's something, but there's a, there's a very interesting dynamic. You know, sometimes you have to look at, it, it, it depends. You can just have somebody just to look at and have somebody say, yeah, yeah. You know, just, it, it, it doesn't matter. But um, going back to, to the, my, my love of this, I, this never occurred, this, this theme, this idea of, uh, that's right, paradigm, things like, um, I'll tell you, let me, let me just go through a list of some of this stuff that just fascinates me. Hold uh, on to yeah. that. Hold on to that list. Uh, Let's get to Pierre. Right. He's been waiting patiently. Oh, Pierre. Well, listening he's... in Madison, Wisconsin to WXXM, the Mike 92.1. Hey, Pierre. Uh, bonsoir, gents. Uh, well, I actually lived in Paris, but I don't want to. I feel so. Uh, right on. Everything you said uh, is right on the mark, and I really can. It's just refreshing. I'm sitting there Saturday night. Nothing to do with that page around the radio, playing on a guitar, a little look out the window at all the crazies, and then you come on, it's like, God, this is awesome tonight. They got the line. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like you're just telling the truth, whether people agree with you or not. It's so rare. I live as an artist and a musician, and, you know, I just sit here and go, what are people talking about, you know? And I've lived in Paris, and I lived three blocks from where... They had the uh, little Charlie thing, and you know, I'm, I live as an artist right now, a painter, and um, I got nothing to do with that guy. I mean, I'm not going to work. If I went out and sang songs totally open in Madison, I'd be arrested. If I painted a picture of uh, what that guy did with Jesus, I'd be shot probably. Well, you know, you make up a good point. You know, I mentioned you know? this before. I mentioned my, my own little I'm not moment. I'm that. Irritating people and riling them up so we have conflict. That's not art. Well, you're really you know? riling me up right now with that uh, idea. Sorry about that. <laughs> I kid, of course. There's nothing. What, what I love to do is throw in the completely left field incongruous response. Uh, to, <laughs> and I do it, and I love to do it. And all of a sudden, somebody will say something innocuous, and you say, look, I don't know who you are thinking that you can talk to me like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But, for example, I mentioned before, I said, I don't make jokes about people's, in, um, um, you know, for like Tourette's and that sort of thing. And I, I mean, I can. There's no law against it. But I don't particularly like to do that. So I don't want to go out and make fun of people's religions. Look, I'm irreligious. I don't speak God. I'm a retired Catholic. And I loved my priests and my nuns, and I, they were great, never was hit, diddled, touched, abused, nothing. Never saw it happen. Hmm. I have nothing but reverence and respect for these people. I've got great friends of mine who were very devout. I happen to, I don't speak French. I, I'm not saying the French language doesn't exist. I'm not saying there's anything. I just don't understand it. So that being said, so, but because I know it's very, very important to people, I'm going to go out of my way and say, you know, the basis of God 
is is absolutely probably a part of the God brain, and it's and it's really on the eighth day man created God, and it's specious, and it's mythical, and it's uh, it's it, it, it's it's crypto insane. No, I don't do that. I didn't go up to friends of mine and say, "Hey, listen, this woman that you're in love with, you're out of your mind. She's a lunatic. Your love is baseless." No, I don't do that. So consequently, why does Charlie Hebdo, if you have a point against Islam, which is okay, or against Islam Sharia law, that's okay, and you can do this, why are you going about it this way? And they do it on purpose. So here is the problem. People like uh, Clarence Page and my friend Bill Donahue from the Catholic League and others are saying, look, I don't subscribe to a Islamophilic world either. But I understand why they were upset. Sure. That doesn't mean I countenance or agree with it, but it doesn't, you know, so this, this, this nonsense. But what they're trying to do is they're always trying, remember, the people who run the world, the ruling class, whoever these people are, always want there to be turmoil, and they will give us a series of interesting boogeymen and amorphous bad guys. And it goes something like this. It started off with al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, the word base, was something that we came up with. This was a base from the Mujahideen days of Afghanistan. It was a base of all of the various tribes and contingents because they don't pledge fealty to an organization with a membership card with a name. That's Western. They mm -hmm. don't have a name. Believe it or not, the mafia never had a name. They don't call each other. People don't have names for what they do. So anyway, it was Al-Qaeda that was our name. Then AQI, Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Then ISIS, Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Then ISIL, Iraq, Syria, uh, and the Levant. Most people don't know what that is. They might think it's Oscar Levant, and four people listening to the show knows who Oscar Levant is. All right, then it was Daesh, which was a French pejorative. Then uh, Al Nusra Front, and then Khorasan. Now, I just gave you 12. They're all the same. same. Yeah. They're the same. It doesn't matter. So, what happens is you got these people. I'll tell you what. We got to go over there and bomb those damn guys, <laughs> cutting people's heads off, and I don't give a damn. They're not going to fuck. Wait, oh. but where are we going to <laughs> bomb now? I don't care. Just go there and bomb them. Now, we also had something which was fantastic. We had John Kerry, who, by the way, and I will make fun of his face. You have to <laughs> ask yourself, why have you paralyzed your face? Why? Who is it that said, you know? This emotion thing, this ability to emote and <laughs> react and, and, you know, basically be human, we don't think it's a good thing. We People all over America fight. with paralyzed faces and the women with Botox treatments are all weeping right now. I want to thank Pierre for the call tonight. Thank you, Pierre. Let's uh, bring Dave on in Very California, nice listening to KGOE. Dave, you're on with Lionel. Lionel, and it's so good to hear you again, dear friend. But uh, I, we just hear in it's a breaking news. I don't know if you've got it. CBS reporting that President Obama is calling upon Congress to significantly increase capital gains taxes, and he is targeting the rich to kick in their fair share. Now, why would you consider that breaking news? I mean, that doesn't really <laughs> seem like – and thank you, Dave, for the call tonight. I mean, that doesn't really seem like it would fit into the category of breaking news. That just sounds more like politics as usual to me. Anyway, there well, you go. If you, think, if you think that this Wall Street uh, darling, that this is legit, if you think he has any serious <laughs> intent to do that, I mean, remember, he's got 2016. He's the head of the Democratic Party. He has to do this, throw a bone out here and there. It's nonsense. Nonsense. Al's with us listening in Bangor, Maine. Al, you're on Free Talk Live uh, with Lionel. Lionel. I must be brief before these advocates of free speech cut me off. <laughs> once, once you question the hidden powers which control our government and our media, your career is finished. And they seek to rule the world with false concepts of false equality, false humanitarian, humanitarianism, and false ideas of freedom, but they do it to enslave the world through finance capital. All right, I'll stand that by. I don't know where you're going with that, but we'll give you a chance to uh, <laughs> explicate here in moments. Uh, Lionel is with us, and the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Don't forget to check out Lionel's website, lionelmedia.com. There's more on the way here. Our website, freetalklive.com, and we'll take your calls about anything coming up.
For 20 years, you've trusted Lumber Liquidators for the best deals on the best selection of floors. Well, this week, get even more deals in our January flooring sale. One beautiful hardwood, get pre-finished solid hardwood from $189. How about gorgeous bamboo that's twice as hard as oak? We've got strand bamboo for $219. Looking for top quality laminate? This week, get almost half off our thickest and best laminate, plus other great flooring deals and 18-month special financing. Don't wait. The January flooring sale is going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. DB Books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks, why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. You can get on the air here with us, Ian and Mark, in the studio in Keene, New Hampshire, and joining us from New York City, uh, we've never had a remote co-host before, Lionel. Uh, normally, I have a very hard and fast rule that you must be in the studio. So we're we're bending all the rules for you here tonight. I hope you. It has to it. been worth it. I mean, seriously. Has it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you were great. You're great. It's great to have you, uh, Lionel. Of course, uh, longtime talk show host, now host of his own YouTube channel at Lionel Media. 
uh, or excuse me, Lionel Nation on YouTube. LionelMedia.com is the website where you can subscribe to his newly available and freely uh, free to subscribe to podcast. And then uh, folks who really want to support you, Lionel, they can uh, sign up and get archives and stuff, right? Indeed. Or just send cash. That works, too. For now. What about Bitcoin? Are you taking Bitcoin yet, Lionel? I am not, but I will. Uh, cryptocurrency is in the future. Anything that can disrupt uh, the Federal Reserve, I am for it 100%. By the way, may I, may I just comment quickly on that last call? Uh, he's still there, actually. If you, oh, bless his heart. I don't think he, don't think he got his question out. Uh, and let me give you a little I don't bit. Think there was a question. No, it, let me give you a little bit about Al here because you know it's your first night co-hosting Free Talk Live, uh, Lionel. Al has been has become a chronic. Uh, caller since we started on his station there in Bangor WNZS and he he's a unique character in that uh, he actually supports the prohibitionist party which I think has all of seven members these days in the United States and well, I think uh, the prohibitionist party should be banned <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be amusing Al you're back on with Lionel what were you saying Al yes. go ahead well the truth gentlemen is not determined by a show of hands and if you had been alive at the time of Socrates, you would have denounced him as a chronic caller to the Athenian government. Now, the difficulty here is that if anyone questions uh, anything beyond the obvious, the left-right paradigm, as Lionel said, he's denounced as a conspiracy theorist. And the reason for that is that conspiracy is so vast and so powerful and so close to achieving its ultimate goals that unless anyone who questions and they do it in order Al, we are losing global. your connection. I have no idea what you're uh, getting at there. Mode, if you don't like, goodbye. I like it. I think it's, it's it adds to the limpidity of the call by by randomly taking out portions <laughs> of what he says. Maybe it was the NSA. But by the way, you can make, let me just explain. Uh, Al, if that's his real name, that is, you know, chronic calls, that's how I got started in radio. So I love anybody who calls on a regular basis. You used to be a the, caller to 970 right. WFLA. And they and they used and these people are the lifeblood of the organization, that being said. But one of the things which is really important to note is that there is another side to this. Washington, the world, the government that we see, it's almost like a Potemkin village. It's a, it's, it's a backdrop. It's Hollywood. It's the set. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Behind that is a different story. Now, when you talk to somebody for the first time about this, they will look at you, and you can see automatically, like, you're a nut. You're insane. And then you say, well, let me try it this way. What if I said to you, professional football, you realize, is about making money for the owners, right? You say, well, of course. It's not about the teams. It's not about who wins. It's not about the pride of the game. It's a business. And they have no problem with that. They can see through everything, whether it's Hollywood, NFL, professional sports, soap operas, the music business. It doesn't matter. They have no student government, dating, marriage. They understand it. When you talk to them about government as being something that is that hiding in the recesses you know, of the dark alleys, they, that they cannot comprehend for reasons I'll never understand. Because if you think, honestly, that, that, that Barack Obama is, has a chance to do anything revolutionary or <laughs> that is not part of a 25-year script in increments, if you think that he is different than George Bush, if you think that the <laughs> next president... Is going to change. That's it. We're done with this. I'm going to fire the head of the of the Federal Reserve. We're going to nationalize the Fed. We're going to. If you ever see it, is it's never going to happen. And it does. And I'm sure you perhaps had this opportunity when you were in school, and you thought of running for a B student council. Yeah, you could do some. You know, you could, you could put Dr. Pepper in the vending machine. You know, be crazy pizza on Thursday. But when it really comes to making differences, no, of course not. This is a control illusion. If you ever see a little kid in a, in, in a car, has a car seat, and you put the kid in the car seat and there's a steering wheel, and you let him feel like he's driving, and he turns the wheel and he laughs, and he, he kind of feels like, you know, gee, I'm, I'm turning the wheel and the car turns. <laughs> yes, you think you are. That's our government. Yeah, some things are done. <laughs> Gay marriage here and there. Maybe something's legalized in Colorado. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, there's certain things. But the big, the big ticket items have absolutely nothing to do with representative government. Period. There. Tyler's with us listening in Des Moines. Tyler, you're on Free Talk Live with Lionel. 
and Ian and Mark. Yeah, uh, it's great to talk to you guys. I'm a huge fan. I'm a little more starstruck than I thought I would be, honestly. Uh, but uh, you guys have been on my radio station for <clears throat> a few months now here in Des Moines, and uh, I just absolutely love it. The thing that I wanted to talk about um, that I never really hear anyone else mention about this whole, you know, it was a, with Bush, it was a war, and now it's a conflict, and now it's whatever we're told it is every other week with mm-hmm. ISIS and ISIL and all that stuff is that for them, it boils down to religious motivation. And for us, it's not. And so ultimately, who's going to be more hard pressed to win, get their point across and ultimately come out on top? Why doesn't anyone ever in the mainstream media talk about that fact? Well, well, I gotta what say, does it mean to win anyway? Well, I, mean, I, I don't think the, the winners are the people that are selling the weapons. Um, the yeah. but I would say well, that I don't. I don't mean. I don't mean win in the sense that you know there needs to be a victor. I mean, who's going to be more hard pressed to to defend the reason that they're fighting? Well, but for it's it. also a religion. I don't want to let Lionel jump in here in a moment. But it's also a religious mindset from the side of the U.S. Uh, the people who are on the side of the U.S. state, the federal government. I mean, the belief in the state is uh, is very religious in a lot of ways. I I I am okay. I I don't disagree with that, but I think that uh, Muslims in general are a little more loyal to their beliefs than we are to our religious-like belief in our own political system. Lionel, what do you think? Uh, see, we don't know that. There's 1.6 billion. What the hell do you? I mean, we, we don't even, don't even think about this. Most most Muslims have already been in the Middle East. They're in they're in Asia. The, the whole business about Arabs and Arabic. Arabic is a language. We, we don't know anything about Muslim people. Never look. A while back, you know, our enemies were so clear. They had uniforms, they had languages, you know, they were right. simple. That all changed. Uh, Vietnam, Korea, this and that. Look, let me tell you something that's very interesting. This is the most important thing to know. This is a country that is based on imperialism. And by the way, it's not the country. Don't say the United States because this has nothing to do with us. It's banks, Wall Street, central banks, the elites, whatever you want to call it. The people who run the show, who make the money. Not us. Nobody... Nobody has ever threatened us. No American, bless her heart, is ever serving in any theater of war to keep my, or to, to, to keep the freedom of speech alive in Cleveland. That doesn't exist. No. It's a myth. <laughs> and what they're doing is they are, three stages of imperialism happen. This is the most important. The well, first before you go gold. on, Smedley Butler backs you up, right? Like oh, This yeah. is the uh, the guy who War wrote a War is a Racket, uh, yeah. what, 100 years ago almost or something Major like that? General, two, two-time Medal of Honor winner. He would have yeah. got a third, too, if it hadn't been illegal for officers at the time. But look at the guy. But, but, okay. but here is Apollo 2. And by the way, look who enlisted him, even though they denied it. You know, Morgan and, and Prescott Bush and the whole bit. But anyway, but I, aside from that, but here's what's really interesting. Three levels of imperialism. The first was gold. And the first was obviously Great Britain. They were the guys who came in, you know, on the horseback with the, uh, the ostrich plume. And they basically went to wherever the gold was and they took over. And they, they didn't even say, this is a war. You guys are evil. They said, no, no, we're here. We're Britain. We're taking your oil. We're taking this. We are, this is called imperialism. Colonial, we're, this is ours. Next came oil. And what happened was the military became the inadvertent defenders of oil companies. And then, of course, that was the Middle East for the most part. So we, they realized, and people realized, that you're not going to go to the American public and say, hey, listen, uh, Brent crude is dropping down by <laughs> half a point. And we need to, we basically have, you know, our, the Western alliances and allegiances, you know, the Queen of Denmark has no, no. What they do is they come up and they create this these these Salafists or Wahhabists, and that is works perfect. 9-11, perfect. Now, the next— and this Right, is the not many important. American parents are going to feel good about sending their son uh, no. off to die for oil companies. But here's the yeah. thing to remember very quickly. The, the third stage of this is going to be rare earth metals. Remember, Afghanistan is the Saudi Arabia of lithium. Lithium is ev- all those computers, all the batteries, everything you need, that and rare earth metals. That's it, plus water. Hydro-imperialism. Iraq, excuse me, uh, Libya had, at the time, the largest underwater aquifer, the Nubian sandstone aquifer. And what happened was, our buddy Bo Gaddafi said, I'm going to convert this. No way, it's ours. War will be the new current, uh, water will be the new currency of war, the new Casus Belli. And that is what you should watch for. Tyler, what thank you for your call tonight. Appreciate it. Lionel, you're sticking with us, I believe. So stand by. We'll uh, bring more, right. li- more, more Lionel with you here in moments. Uh, the toll-free number, if you'd like to get on the lines, 855-453. This is Free Talk Live. 
For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. Cabina lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, January 16th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,262, silver at $17.05, and Bitcoin is trading around $216.58. Today's Bitcoin price is brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather, from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, the location is New York, where it was revealed during day three of the Silk Road trial that Department of Homeland Security agent Jared Duryagin, at one point in his involvement in the Silk Road investigation, suspected disgraced Mt. Gox CEO Mark Carpolese and his right-hand man, Ashley Barr, of being the masterminds behind Silk Road. His suspicions led to his signing of an affidavit stating that he had probable cause to get a warrant to search Carpolese emails. Duryagin also expressed frustration with a parallel Baltimore, Maryland investigation that seized money from Carpolese, associated with alleged illegal money transfer business, tipping him off to the fact that there was a government investigation underway. It was also revealed that Carpolese's attorney told Maryland investigators he wanted to make a deal that he would say who he thought was behind Silk Road in exchange for immunity. Carpolese, in a statement to Motherboard, denied any involvement with the Deep Web website. A federal study released by the National Academy of Sciences has concluded that there is no effective alternative to the government's practice of mass data collection of digital communications. The report said no software-based technique can fully replace the bulk collection of signals intelligence. The authors called for limits on how the data is viewed and used, but not in limiting how much information is collected. The committee behind the report said stopping or slowing data collection will deprive analysts of necessary information. Countering the report, the ACLU said supporting continued bulk data collection would be a mistake. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by WatchMyBit.com, the first ever micropayment-based video service. If you're a content creator, visit WatchMyBit.com to learn how you can use Bitcoin to generate revenue for your art. That's WatchMyBit.com. 
This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, January 16th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. An investigation by the Washington Times has found that nonprofit organizations funded by billionaire George Soros helped fund protests in Ferguson and contributed to social media campaigns. The Times reports the Open Society Foundations gave at least $33 million in grants to a number of groups involved in grassroots activism following the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Some groups monitored and exploited news events that they could portray as a conservative misstep. The groups use shared content and buzzwords to create a social media echo chamber of Facebook likes and Twitter hashtags that would garner media attention. Kenneth Zimmerman, the director of the Open Society Foundation's U.S. programs, said the groups were funded by Soros through the foundation, but stressed the nonprofit did not have the ability to control or dictate what others say or choose to say. The former mayor of Aguala, Mexico, has been charged in the kidnapping of 43 students who have been missing since September of 2014. Former Mayor Jose Luis Abarca Thomas Zeron, Director of Criminal Investigations at the Federal Attorney General's Office, stated that a warrant had been issued for Abarca's arrest and 44 other officials. The student's disappearance has been connected to local police working with a drug gang in collaboration with the mayor and his wife. The Liberty Beat is sponsored in part by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is The Liberty Beat. For Friday, January 16th, 2015, I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. From the day an ancient cave dweller painted yet another f***ing elk hunt on a wall in 15,000 B.C. to Gary Marshall's 1974 discovery of 13 weather-beaten North Dakotan coal miners that would go on to become the cast of Happy Days, The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On June 17, 1954, the effects of the previous month's historic Supreme Court ruling in Brown versus the Board of Education provided black students with the educational opportunity of experiencing racism firsthand in desegregated schools. Up until that point, African-American pupils could only endure racial slurs and death threats in city streets or near their homes. And on June 24, 1784, 13-year-old Edward Warren took the first hot air balloon flight becoming the first American to urinate on a crowd from 100 feet in the air. And that was what happened this week in history. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You may dial in toll-free here on this live Saturday edition. You can bring up anything you'd like. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, Ian here with you tonight. And Mark. Also, we started our show out with a guest, Lionel, uh, formerly of Talk Radio fame, now of uh, he's on te- television in New York City on WPIX. Uh, from time to time, he's also got his own uh, YouTube channel called Lionel Nation. There's LionelMedia.com and at Lionel Media on Twitter. Uh, and Lionel, you've become a co-host uh, throughout the night tonight, so uh, welcome. You know, as a guest on Free Talk Live, you are up there, because we hardly ever have guests on Free Talk Live. It's more of an open phone Why is show. That? It's an open phone show. We wanted to have callers more so than guests. I, Good. You know, I just don't really care that much about guests. And uh, But we have had some guests on over the years, and uh, so you are up Who's amongst the biggest? The- Gene Ray from TimeCube.com. <laughs> One of my old favorites. He is still see, kicking around out there, too, see, I think. Ray is phenomenal. <laughs> that was totally you. Now, longtime listeners of the show, they they recall the Gene Ray interview. Do we have him on twice, Mark? I believe I so, like we yeah. We did have him on twice. And uh, so they recall those. Of course, I gave total credit. You've also credit. found a few that of your own Yeah, uh, I, I gave total credit internet. to you, though, Lionel, for uh, for unearthing Gene oh, Ray. Gene Ray is, and I, I would listen, put him on sometimes, and have friends uh, listen, and, and I would look very, very seriously. And, and, <laughs> and I just, I mean, look, I'd rather be with Gene Ray than the finest people on this planet. And I mean that sincerely. No, I kid, of course. No, I, I, I love that. I love, 
I got to tell you, sometimes guests are, here. the rule of talk radio, callers are really what talk radio is about. Rush doesn't take any calls. My, I, let me tell you something. It's better to get. It's easier to get a mortgage than get through that call. And I've mm -hmm. seen them. And that's fine. Like everybody's got their own style. But to me, the call. Because what happens is, when you ever do a, if you ever do a TV show, people will say, "What do your, what do your listeners think?" And you say, "Well, I don't know about the listeners, but the callers say this." Yeah. Because that's what people <laughs> think talk radio is. They don't think of you just talking. So that's it. Talkers all. I mean, uh, um, how you handle them. Screening is also critical. It's an art form in and of itself. Guests sometimes are just absolutely, they're a crutch. They yeah. can be horrible. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes, And also you find that the people that are really interesting to you that you think you're going to find interesting are horrible. Never, ever have on anybody that's a, uh, a hero of yours, specifically music or whatever. You will hate them because they're not, they're not interesting people. And comedians, remember this, chisel this in stone, stencil it on your forehead. Comedians are the worst. They, I don't. Really? If oh god, if they're planned, I mean, I'm sure there's an exception here and there, but I don't care who they. You watch people like even Carlin, bless his heart, when he was doing his thing, or or Bill Hicks. I I want to see them perform. Maybe Carlin's a little bit different, but you want to talk to Gilbert Gottfried? Go ahead. Good luck. Knock yourself out. I don't know. I've heard Gilbert Gottfried being interviewed on the Penn Gillette's show, which Penn does a, um, a podcast called Penn Sunday School, and they seem to have a good time. Like they've got really Penn's good getting, rapport. Penn's getting on my nerves because he's the he's a consummate skeptic. Everything is you know BS to him, and that's that's fine. And I dig that. He's a libertarian. Most people do not understand what a libertarian is. They think only in the con. It's it's kind of like a cologne or a style to them. They think, oh, smoking dope. Yeah, well, that's personal freedom. But nobody ever wants to, to use the great Webster Tarpley term, ever want to talk about genocidal austerity and this weird Von Mises, Von Hayek, Mont Pelerin, uh, horrible uh, economics. Nobody knows about that. It's just like the Charlie Hebdo business. They don't even read it. They think they know. So, you know, I'm, uh, look, I've seen a couple of times comics who do this thing where they go into this, 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 these histrionics, these incredible laughing, Seinfeld, uh, coffee, uh, comedians getting coffee in cars or whatever it is, the knee-slapping Bobby Bittman, SCTV, you are the funniest, hilarious. I, I, that's just, I just don't, I don't get that. That's just me. Let's go to the phones and to the phone. Oh, Mark, I've got to say with uh, interviews of musicians, I, I I really want to hear these people play because they're excellent at it. Yes. But what are they going to talk about? Well, I, I touched this uh, fret right. at this spot, and well, they it, could talk about groupies and uh, the behind the. That would be stuff. much more interesting than talking about the music because yeah, sure. you know when you like hear hear NPR for instance, you'll hear these just uh, marathon <laughs> boring <laughs> interviews about the music. Heart? Listening to Paul McCartney, watch this. YouTube, if you want to just, I mean, forget waterboarding. Watch any of YouTube of Ron Wood interviewing Paul McCartney. And it is, what, what happened to these people? Do they know how to speak? Do they have a thought? Watch this <laughs> dreck, torrid. All right, to the phones, to the fun. We got Lionel with us here from LionelMedia.com and Lionel Nation on YouTube. We also have Dennis. He's in Wichita listening to KQAM. Dennis, you're on with Lionel and Ian and Mark. Hey, evening. Dennis, go ahead with your thoughts. Take it easy, Dennis. Take it uh, easy. Hey, how you doing? Reel it in. Watch hey, it. Uh, if it's easy, go. I'll take it twice. Go ahead, Dennis. Okay, I apologize. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just have a few thoughts about uh, a, a handful of individuals that are actually calling the shots, shadow government, if you will. You're and on the radio. That being, okay, that <laughs> Thanks being, for reminding us. You're on the radio, sir. <laughs> you're not in the day room at okay. Kringle. <laughs> that means go, right. Dennis. Go okay, with your for thoughts. Instance, for instance, we live, we live in a state uh, representative uh, senate, right? Now, even though 70, 80 percent of people voice their opinion on wanting one thing or not wanting another thing, uh, and that gets overlooked and certain laws get shoved down our throats, means we are not being represented. We are not being represented in a proper fashion. 
There's I've a never heard it emotion. better. What, sir? Dennis, you couldn't possibly be represented, could you, right? Because, you know, the, the so-called representatives really only represent themselves and ultimately any of their corporate supporters. So what are the odds you'll ever have someone represent you in Washington, D.C.? Then why call? Then why be represented? Why don't we just be well, a you're dictatorship? not, because it's a lie. It's just, yeah, they're just calling themselves that to make you think that there's a chance that they might they're actually going represent going you. To, that way you'll run out in front of bullets emotion. for the flag. <laughs> But right, but but with all due respect, you know, Dennis, Dennis, uh, perhaps in a rather circuitous and somewhat hallucinogenic, uh, hall hallucinogenic, easy for me to say, uh, 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 state, um, bring up a good point. You know, this this dog and pony show that you and I agree is just, it's a fraud. Watch Sunday, watch tomorrow, the Sunday morning about the handicappers. Well, the red straight, the five eighty six. Well, right now it looks like Marco Rubio's, and they talk about it. With such a an inside fervor, they give heft, you know, to this to this illusion. Look, let me tell you what I'd like to do. What I'd like to see if I was a president. If I was a president, here's what I would do. Imagine this: I walk out, and all of a sudden, you see me surrounded by ninjas. <laughs> About 10, 15 actual. I mean, you can't see their face, and you say, "Are those ninjas?" And I say, "Hello, yes. Do not adjust your set." These are ninjas. These individuals have sworn fealty and uh, loyalty to me. They're going to watch me. I have just fired the CIA, the FBI, everybody. Um, we're going to do it our way. I'm going to do the following edicts. We're going to nationalize the Fed. I'm going to do this and that. And you can't get near me. Remember when they were sending the message to Obama a while back with all of these breaches of security, scaling the wall, one guy's in the elevator with a gun, basically saying, we can get you. Remember that. That would never happen. That went by without anybody ever talking about that again. Remember that? During, Mark, of course, has no idea where he is, much less this happening. <laughs> That's but Ian. it was in all the papers. <laughs> yes, I no, remember I clearly. I don't know anything about Yeah, Ian has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ian was out licking the salt lick and has no clue what you're talking Ian, about. Ian basically is he's, well, he's watching old episodes of The Wire. Anyway, yeah. but, No, no, the is, salt lick has DMT in it. Ooh, he's trying to get to the middle. Hey, Dennis, but, thanks for the call. Uh, go ahead, Lionel. No, no, but, but this... And until that happens, until there's just a revolution, it nothing is going to change. So mm. what I do is I simply do. I say, look, you pretend to do this. I'm going to work kind of outside the realm of government, and I'm going to promote my ideas and pray that somehow this doesn't collapse under its own weight. We will come back with more with Lionel at LionelMedia.com. Also, Twitter at Lionel Media. He is Lionel Nation on YouTube. And we're Free Talk Live. Eat a mark here, freetalklive.com. More on the way, 855 450 free. It's the live Saturday show. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, 
I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live. Having spent uh, eight years, six months, and 21 days of my life in the Florida State prison system, I'm going to say that the incidences of rape are much, much exaggerated in the media. I'm sure it happened. It some... makes for interesting television Yeah, shows. yeah. I mean, all the things that I've seen on Oz, I saw in prison, but I was there for nine years. So, you know, if I saw one incidence of violence where somebody got their ear bit off, okay, it didn't happen every episode. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, it, it is a public perception, though, and people... Yep. It's almost a joke, you know, or a, it's like a wink and a nod. Yeah, that, sure. You know, Bubba is going to get you when yep. you go to prison. That's exactly the idea. As though sodomy somehow fixes people's broken minds. Um, you know, right. that's that's not where they're putting that thing. Um, so, I mean, it's not gonna it's not gonna jostle anything <laughs> around and fix it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can, of course, bring up anything you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features you'll find there. You can also get gold and silver. That's right. Uh, Silver prices are really great right now. And if you want to pick some up, go to gold.freetalklive.com. We work with Midas Resources, and they are actually the sister company to Genesis Communications Network, our syndicate. And I've been doing business with them for more than a decade. I've gotten lots of precious metals from them, not just gold and silver, but uh, much more. Go check them out at gold.freetalklive.com talklive.com they've got great prices they're going to get you the gold in your hand they're going to do it quickly and they're going to do it without too much trouble gold.freetalklive.com if you need a telephone number for them it's there at the website at gold.freetalklive.com oh give out the phone number there are still people that don't have internet access you know i was going to give it okay. 877-857-9938 877-857-9938 lionel's with us from lionelmedia.com his website his youtube channel lionel nation and uh, lionel thanks for sticking with us i've been having fun with you thank you for it well that makes one of us but um <laughs> My wife's saying, what have you done? Why are you doing this? No, this, let me stop for a second. Let's just be, just be a little light for a moment, because light does not mean uh, superfluous. This is the last bastion of what humans do. The idea of just talking and, and not necessarily being doom and gloom. No, I, look, it's very, very serious, and I can be extremely, you know, sometimes deep and dark and dour, but there used to be fun to this. This reminds me of the old days. This reminds me of just, Mm. just, I mean, mean, enjoying ourselves. And look, these callers, sometimes, you know, we mock them feverishly and, uh, and for good reason. But what you're hearing from them is a sense of, I don't buy what's going on. And right now, there is a group of people in this country, like you and me, I think, who do not, I mean, we're not paranoid, we're not conspiracy theorists, we're not tinfoil hatters and that sort of thing, because it's aluminum foil, we haven't used tinfoil in years, but <laughs> we don't believe... you got to have the reflective side out. Yes. <laughs> we're, we don't believe 
in anything. You know, Pilger's Law said, never believe anything until it's officially denied. Mm. Whatever you do. <laughs> so when I, so when my wife and I see anything, for example, when if, if it's uh, uh, Charlie Hebdo or whatever it is, we look at each other and we say, Rawr. because that's, that's what they want us to believe. MH370, Rawr. okay, no questions asked, right? No, nothing. I, uh, oh, I see. So <clears throat> um, Iraq and 9-11, huh? I see. Nobody asks any questions. And let me tell you something. I have been involved in the news business. And I have been in the in the you know the, the the front line. And I have never received any memo from anybody who says, listen, whatever you do, don't go here. Don't say anything. There's no it's it's like an institutional sense of how am I doing? I have a minute and a half. Make sure my shot looks good. How's my hair? I want to be on tomorrow. And I frankly don't care about going behind anything because I'm not here to go behind anything. I'm just going to tell you, this is what happened. It's a plane crash. It's missing. That's it. I don't have any inquiry behind that. There are no false flags. There's nothing phony. My gov This is what they told me, and I'm going to repeat it. Well, That's it's the government. The I mean, they must be telling the truth, obviously. Jeez. But, but, but when have they? And, for example, you use the word conspiracy theories. And false flags. Let me also be very uh, uh, be careful of something. Be careful when people sometimes automatically will say, Harp! It's Harp! <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, we haven't had one of those callers in quite a while, thank now, goodness. I'm not suggesting there's no something to do with Harp, and anybody who knows the the acronym for that, you know, uh, or, or the, yeah, the acronym, let me know, high altitude, auroral, whatever. But, or they'll say, false flag, it's a false flag. Wait a minute, you, know, you don't know what a false flag is. Inside job. Wait a minute, stop saying this. Not everything's an inside job. You, right. you, you have to think about this. Don't react. It's okay to disbelieve everything. You, you don't want a doctor in the lab holding up every test and saying, cancer. I say, wait a minute, hold it. Take it easy. You're a dentist. <laughs> hey, Lionel, hold that thought. Let's get some of these folks on here today. They are waiting patiently. Let's go to John in Tallahassee listening to WVFT. John, you're on with Ian, Mark, and Lionel. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, John. Go ahead with your thoughts. I just wanted to thank you for having your guest on. He cleared up some things. I had some questions that I've questioned myself about, and I just want to thank y'all for having him on. And Excellent. I think that he also answered a lot of other people's questions that, like you know, what? a lot of us what around here were like. <laughs> what have I well, answered? You just, I liked how you explained things about oil and how things came to be, and everybody's running around right now thinking, oh, my God, we're all going to have to go live in the woods and join militia <laughs> groups. And, That's what I was thinking. You know, the fall of the world is coming. And I I, uh, I got into it for a while, and it drove me nuts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is not worth my sanity, for one thing. I want to go on with my life. Uh, some people were disappointed in me because, uh, you know, I'm not with your group no more. And I just, I'm, I'm done with it. And to hear you say some things that, it, it will help people move on with their lives instead of doom and gloom and the, the government's going to take over. And like you say, I do believe it is that they just want you to think certain things so you'll vote for them, give them money, and move on. You know, leave us poor and while they get rich. John, I'm glad we could help you. Thank you for the call tonight. Uh, Lionel, your thoughts? <laughs> no. Well, listen, for, I, I understand what he's saying. And it is that bad. It is It is that bad. You know, uh, right now people are saying, who do you think is going to win, <laughs> Jeb Bush or Hillary? And I said the other day, I said, well, uh, they've both been vetted for Bilderberg, so that's not it. It's a shoe in Either way, they're going to flip a coin. If if Hillary, because I think Hillary has some health issues by virtue of she was falling down and she was passing out. And there were some things I really was very concerned about. But when I said Bilderberg, what's that? I said, it's been around since 1954. It's the vetting process. Remember, for years they said, there is no such thing. You're out of your mind. You're a conspiracy theorist. Now they have their website. So for all of those years, it's, it's, it's a part of the selection, not the election process. And by the way, when I tell somebody this, I said, I, I know you can go out and worry about 
electoral votes and all that stuff, but it's a shoe in And as long as votes are electronically counted versus paper, it's predetermined. Don't waste your time. That's why every single year I write my name in for the presidential election. I write my name in. <laughs> I vote, but not for anybody on that ballot. The only elections that exist today are local. Yeah. City, county, state, local. They really count. They honestly matter. Yeah. The higher up you go, the more irrelevant they are. Absolutely. And your vote also honestly doesn't count. And as you pointed out, whoever wins, we lose. So really, it And it don't forget matter. this. One of, one of the Berrigan brothers said, if voting mattered, it would be illegal. Yeah. Yep, that's absolutely true. You know, I, it, just to briefly kind of... I thought it was Emma Goldberg that got... Uh, the uh, everybody said everything at some point. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I, I like what he was I saying Lionel there just said it. Because, uh, you know, I feel like the, the conspiracy movement, and you were talking uh, real great about Alex Jones earlier. My critique of Alex Jones is that he can lead people down a path to despair, and I think that's the problem. I like a lot of what, is, what he does as far as cover, covering uh, like the police state. And we can come back with more with Lionel, 855-453. Hold that thought. We'll, we'll come back. We talk about Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good health. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists, get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and slingshots. Slingbows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, Government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hello Americans, it's Uncle Sam here. If you owe $10,000 or more on your federal or state income taxes, I've got important news that may help you negotiate a lower tax bill. The IRS with their Fresh Start initiative is offering more flexible terms to Americans looking to settle their IRS debt. They can help you lift your wage garnishments, stop bank levies, and put your tax problem behind you once and for all. If you owe tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars to the IRS or state, our 
team of tax professionals can resolve your case and stop collection actions against you. Even if you've been audited or haven't filed a return in years, we can help. Call right now and find out if you qualify to settle your debt for far less than what you owe. 800-978-3909. 800-978-3909. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. If you enjoy what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, you can support the show by becoming a Free Talk Live amplifier. It's 5 bucks a month. You get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast. Uh, there's also the AMP-only Facebook group, which is a lot of fun. And uh, the 5 bucks a month is invested into the show, which is why we've been able to go to the Talkers uh, conventions that we were talking about earlier tonight, where we actually met Lionel more than a few times. As a matter of fact, Lionel's with us here from LionelMedia.com. You can, again, help us out. Five bucks a month. You get perks. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. And if you want to go check out Lionel, don't forget to go to his website, LionelMedia.com, and also Lionel Nation on YouTube. Lionel, uh, we were talking briefly a moment ago about Alex Jones. You had yeah. given him accolades previously in the show earlier on, and uh, and my critique of Alex, and we've had Alex on Free Talk Live, and he's had us on uh, his show in the past, so it's not like we've got a, a bad relationship or anything like that. Uh, but my critique is that I feel like a lot of the conspiracy world stuff leads people down the the road to despair and, you know, hiding out in their parents' basement. Well, sometimes the truth can be frightening. If I were to tell you anything, if I were to say, for example, um, be very careful that uh, GMOs do not make it into your pantry. Oh, my God, they're going to eat them when they die. Like, well, no, no, wait, take it easy, take it easy. If I were to talk about a host of, of problems, you could react, perhaps negatively. The thing that Alex does that I do not... See, when, when I say I don't agree with something, it's more of I don't share it. I don't understand, like I said, the religious part of it. I am not... I'm irreligious. So consequently, when he talks about Jesus and the devil, I, I don't relate to that. But the good that he has done and provided... The opening of our minds to a different way of thinking. When you look at the YouTube of basically how he predicted 9-11 and mentioned bin Laden before anyone, you're going to have to ask yourself, and by the way, there are many people who believe he is a member of Mossad, he is a, you know... He's oh, there's conspiracies about Alex Jones. Uh, well, they're... listen, <laughs> good to have conspiracy there. You know, once... How do I say this? Years ago, when the first human being learned about disease, never knew what disease was, he started seeing disease everywhere mm -hmm. because the, the specter of it was such. Let me talk about conspiracies for just a moment. This sure. is very interesting. Gore Vidal, whom I think was a, a, a treasure, said three things about uh, conspiracies which I love. The first one is, and I've, I've used it, he says, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I'm a conspiracy analyst because they exist and anybody who doesn't understand of conspiracies which basically are the confederation the agreement between two people to bring about something that we don't particularly care for mm -hmm. there are people in prison on conspiracies conspiracy does not mean it's not a it's not tantamount to crazy or insane or skeptical or, 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 or paranoid or what have you agree the second thing he said was is is that it is a article of faith today that you must deny the existence of conspiracies and the conspiracy theory today is oftentimes code word for the unspeakable truth. And what it is, it has become a catch-all. And we have a new group of people. Not only do we have the conspiracy purveyors who see a conspiracy and, and a false flag and behind everything, you also have the people, to a certain extent, like Penn Jillette and others, who are the, quote, skeptics. They see the opposite of it constantly. Mm -hmm. Michael Shermer. We haven't talked about UFOs, but one of the greatest, as Stanton Friedman says, the Watergate of the millennium is how this government has absolutely, deliberately, and specifically 
quashed and quelled uh, any kind of data or information regarding alien contact. Other nations have it. We do. So there are the debunkers like Shermer from the skeptics who will basically, in a knee-jerk, almost patellar, obeisant reaction, they will say, it's nonsense. So you have two extremes, the one group who believes everything and the one group who believes nothing. Mm -hmm. now, somewhere in the middle is There's where you and I are. Yeah. So when somebody says to us, for example, that we have to go, remember, give me an example. John, uh, John Kerry said, we have to go to Syria. Remember this. He was saying, we, uh, you know, understand this. This man is gassing his people in Ghouta and Aleppo and in, in, in Assad. It was nonsense. Everybody said he didn't gas anybody. We forgot about that. The media never said, whoa, whoa, hold it. Two weeks ago, you wanted us to go. What happened to that? Well, never mind. So the was that memory a hole. <laughs> but that's not a conspiracy. That was a cover because the reason why we wanted to do that, look at Occam's razor. Look at the simplest answer. It was about energy. It was about gas problems. It was about Putin. Putin was in Syria and Tartus. Draw a straight line from Iran, Iraq, and Syria. That's the story. But they can't say that. If, why can't if, they say it and why don't they say it? Because if we, we're not going to send men and women to die for, you know, high test, it doesn't make any sense. You have to give Americans something that threatens their liberty, their peace of mind. Give them a boogeyman, the mm -hmm. power of nightmares. Let me give you something. Let me tell you what was so wonderful about bin Laden, okay? This was the thing. Think about how brilliantly this was crafted. First of all, this man just scared Ugly, scary, in a cave with a, some kind of weird headdress, speaking some language. And what did he hate? Think about this. He hated our freedom. And I've never understood what the hell that even meant. <laughs> Coca-Cola and Britney a, Spears. This was a guy who hated everything about us. Now, years before, just prior to that, he was our ally. Remember, we don't know anything about history. He was our ally in Afghanistan. Didn't matter. But they told us, he, once you repeat the meme, once you repeat the idea, he hates our freedom. And then they said, weapons of mass destruction. Right. Weapons of mass destruction. Now, when you're here in New York, and let me tell you something, the, old, the smell of 9-11, it was in the air for... you. It, it hung everywhere I walked. I smelled it. I saw every time I heard a, a fire truck or a, an alarm. And he's telling me weapons, mass destruction, the smoking gun could be a mushroom cloud. Do you know what this does to your mindset? Do you know? It, 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 it hijacked our sensibilities. We were in no position to ferret and to parse and to microscopically analyze what we were being told. It was brilliant. Now, I'm not saying it was an inside job. I'm not saying any of that. All I know is that you can listen to uh, Wesley Clark and others. The plans for Iraq and the plans for Afghanistan were already written. Mm, you needed yep. the Pearl Harbor. You needed the tripwire. And for right. whatever it worth, that was it. Well, and once and again, Americans aren't paying real attention, right? Because if you actually listen to what uh, Osama bin Laden said, uh, he was really more upset. He wasn't United. upset about Britney Spears. He was upset about what had been going on with the American government uh, coming in and meddling in uh, various different, uh, you know, conflicts over in the Middle East. But, under, but let me explain to you also. Let me just a couple of things, too. Let's talk about perspective. What if I'd have showed somebody from another country who never even knew anything about us, America of the 30s, 40s, and 50s, of black people hanging from trees, of terrorists in white coats and robes on horses, hmm. burning crosses, people fire hose, women who can't vote, people um, in a country born in slavery, our country 
The Fugitive Slave Clause, a proviso, an absolutely guaranteed provision in the Constitution before the Bill of Rights, the Fugitive Slave Clause, what do you think they would think about us? Yeah, send in the troops. Exactly. Lionel, stand by. Let's get to some more calls here in a moment in the final segment, which is coming up imminently. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you are already on the line, stay there. We'll do our best to get you on with Lionel here in moments on Free Talk Live. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. For 20 years, you've trusted Lumber Liquidators for the best deals on the best selection of floors. Well, this week, get even more deals in our January flooring sale. One beautiful hardwood, get pre-finished solid hardwood from $189. How about gorgeous bamboo that's twice as hard as oak? We've got strand bamboo for $219. Looking for top quality laminates? This week, get almost half off our thickest and best laminate, plus other great flooring deals. And 18 months special financing. Don't wait. The January flooring sale's going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. The Knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM.
Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. Kind of an unusual format here tonight. Ian and Mark in studio as normal. But we have our special guest who has become a host of the show uh, tonight. Uh, Lionel is here. Lionel from LionelMedia.com. And we're going to continue with your calls here in a moment. But first, Mark. Lionel might be an attorney, but he can't handle every legal issue that's going on. If you have common legal documents that you need to have taken care of, check out LegalZoom.com. They can prepare legal documents for you by asking you questions. And they've been accepted in all 50 states and more than... More than a million people have used LegalZoom.com. Go check them out, LegalZoom.com, whether you need a divorce or disability benefits or a living trust or a patent or an annual report for your business or name change. Whatever it is you might need, there's a list of things they can do here on this page far longer than I can read. Check it out at LegalZoom.com. Use coupon code FTL. That's FTL as in free talk live. And save 10 bucks on your order, LegalZoom.com. Lionel, They're before- great. Thank They're you. great, by the way. I appreciate that endorsement. Now, Lionel, uh, before we go on with these calls, who've been waiting very patiently, I wanted to call you out on a pet peeve of mine. Uh, You've been saying things like, we invade Iraq and we did this and that. And I don't associate myself with the the federal government. I like to separate when when I'm speaking about the things that they do. I prefer to put it in those terms. I mean, you certainly acknowledge that, uh, you know, we're not actually choosing the winner and nor nor would it matter if we did because they're all the same. So why associate yourself with what they do? It's the royal we. For example, we in media, you know, the media do this. And people say, well, I don't do that. It's like, yes, we, we speak far too generically. But put it this way, when our men and women go and fly to a place and they have the American flag on their, on their, their uh, arm and we salute them and we support our troops, you can kind of see how the collective we and the pluralization of it, you know, happens. By the way, sure, but I don't uh, salute them, and they're not my troops, and I didn't send them well, there. Well, let me tell you something. Nor would I support that. I don't salute either. And, and let me a couple of things too. Presidents should not salute unless they're in uniform, which is something that Reagan started. A president should never return a salute or salute unless he is in uniform, because even Eisenhower did this. I, look, the military. I have no. I have absolutely. Uh, nothing but respect for them, as do teachers and everybody else. I don't glorify them or hold them to a higher uh, pedestal by virtue of what they do. But if we really respect them as much as we say we do, when they come back with a host of problems, emotional, psychiatric, and otherwise, why why do we turn our back on them when they do something that we collectively sign off for? That's all. That's Agreed. All. Well, toll free number here, 855 450 free. Let's go to David. He's in Indianapolis listening to WIBC. David, you're on with Ian and Mark and Lionel. Thank you very much. Good evening, Lionel, and good evening to you too. God good bless. evening. Go ahead, David. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're talking a lot about conspiracies and Bilderberg and the military and whether or not we should have went into Iraq and Afghanistan. We don't need such a complex answer because I think you're giving people too much credit when you say conspiracy. I'll give you the conspiracy. It's called expectation. Now, if the military messes up, that's one thing. But I think the the power in this country doesn't lie with a bunch of bankers. It doesn't lie on Wall Street as much as it lies with the poor, the quote-unquote poor who live better than any other quote-unquote poor in the rest of the world. Okay, And it lies with the fact that we are now told we have to buy health insurance to be an American. We now have to buy something to be an American. I think expectation rather than disinformation and some shadowy, shady characters in higher places, expectation kills republics faster than anything. By expectation, we a, we, yeah, no when you say government. expectation, are you talking about like entitlement? Absolutely. Okay. Large, yeah. Find, find health care, education, housing. Retirement, find any of that in Article 1, Section 8. It is not there. Well, it's certainly so true that you can Well, only... listen, this is one of those arguments. There's also nothing in the uh, Constitution about the Air Force either. We, so what? Look, one of the things that I think that well, we you need have, to do— Well, you do have standing defense. You do, you do, have, a, you do have national defense. No, no, but what I'm saying the is because you don't country, find something— in there. No, no, the, the, Thanks, You're David. not going to find anything in there about— uh, Look, look I, I, I have really— uh, 
veered away from a lot of people who suggest that we owe nobody anything. Let me explain something uh, to you, a couple of things. Uh, it turned out that after the Federal Reserve's first audit, and don't forget the Federal Reserve is as federal as Federal Express, somebody once said. After its first audit ever in 100 years, it found out that from like in the seven-year, eight-year, maybe 10-year period, they basically created $16 trillion out of nothing. Now, basically, that is the national debt they just created. Now, we also have, and other people like uh, the Wall Street the sales tax people and the Tobin tax people and, and Tarpley and others have suggested a Wall Street sales tax that will bring in God knows how much to wipe out debt. I have no problem whatsoever in providing for education, health care, food stamps, uh, WIC programs, uh, for, name it. I have not, before, before I waste my money feeding the military industrial complex and giving it to Bechtel and, and, and Boeing and everybody else in order to secure resources that makes Wall Street and the rest of, rest of the central bankers richer. I have no problem with that just because it's not in the Constitution. Well, I would much rather put my money in education and in infrastructure and roads. Yeah, you know, the bridges. problem is you don't get to choose. I mean, when the government's in control, they are going to put their money where they want to put it, and it's no longer yours or mine because they've taken it from us. But, Mark, what were you going to say? Well, yeah, I mean, I'd rather hand my money to a uh, bum than I would to an armed robber. Um, there's, there's, I mean, you know, I agree with your analogy completely, but don't you think that the entitlement programs, to some extent, uh, I mean, the way they're designed cause people to be less productive and live less... Uh, uh, fulfilled lives. Well, remember, entitlement is one thing. We're not talking about entitlement, you know, versus welfare. You can you can split hairs. There is a problem whenever you create a situation in which somebody is is provided a disincentive to get off of the program that provides them with the means to survive. Yes, that's a problem. I understand that. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. I don't think that's going to be the problem. But rather than worry about that, the bottom line is: let me just leave you with this as we wind up. We need a revolution, a painless, bloodless, violentless, no armed, nothing, but a complete and total resetting of everything. Scrap it, blow it up, in terms of the phrase, like a radio station, and start anew. The corruption, the, the viruses that have infected this government are so entrenched, so deep-seated, so enmeshed in the various architecture of our government that we need to start all sure. over It's certainly again. true that no election in Washington, D.C. is ever going to change anything there. And odds are good that, you know, before anything like a revolution happens, they'll probably crash and burn on their own. But I like the idea of evolution over revolution. I don't really want to start again because then it might just lead down the same road that ultimately it, it, it did in this case. Uh, I like the idea of evolving past, you know, this idea of the state, this nation state, this uh, concept that justifies the violence of these men and women over other people. I don't believe nation states exist. Right. I think we still exist in the paradigm of city-states. Well, let's go to the phones here. We do have Colin on the line. He's in Baltimore. Colin, you're on with Ian, Mark, and Lionel here on Free Talk Live. Yes, how's it going, guys? Good, so, go ahead. Um, I saw, yeah, I saw on a YouTube video um, the other day uh, one that made me chuckle. It was a stop pre keen video. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but you may have. And if you do, I'd like your opinion on it. Um, I'm not going to say the whole YouTube channel name, but it started with uh, just a, that was the first word in it. And, um, it, it's, it's a video mainly about Garrett Ian and he's, uh, uh talking at these protesters and, 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 and in the video, they take one clip of, of, of Garrett talking to these protesters where he says, uh, something about how he wants to be part of a master plan. And then this person who made this video took that one clip of him saying that and then made this totally far out right field connection and made it and, and then said that he actually wanted to be a part of, Hitler, of Hitler's master, master plan. plan. Yeah, Colin, I wish we had more time to talk about it, but we are out of it for tonight. But yeah, what he's referring to there, Lionel, is uh, freekeen.com is my blog site. Mark and I, we moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, which is an idea of getting liberty-minded folks, libertarians, anarchists, voluntarists, to all come to New Hampshire and uh, get active so we can see more of that evolution or revolution or whatever it is that you'd like to see uh, happening here in New Hampshire. And of course, when you start to threaten the staff 
status quo, people come out of the woodwork to, in some cases, violently oppose you. And that's the group calling themselves Stop Free Keen. And that's what he was referring to there. Well, don't, don't, stop free keen out. I guess it would be a better, a better way to say that. <laughs> well, listen, let me tell you, the bottom line is to be the first gentleman. Be, be, be You've got 20 seconds to wrap this up, Lionel. Thank you for allowing me the time to spend this evening with you, to visit with you. It has been a pleasure. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. It has been a pleasure, and I appreciate you staying on way longer than I had initially yeah. uh, hoped awesome. for. Thank you it's so much. It's been a blast, and I'm sure we will talk to you again at some point in the future. Meanwhile, listeners can visit you at lionelmedia.com and us at freetalklive.com. And good night. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you tomorrow for the Sunday show. Free on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact i believe like i said uh, a lot of where i am now is due to listening to free talk live you changed my mind on some very important issues years ago to random people tuning in on the radio i was kind of stuck in the left right paradigm i heard your show by chance on a saturday night from there i went on doing the free state project and become an amplifier so i mean that's really the reason why i amp is uh because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keenan, the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPB Radio News for Saturday, January 17th, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.81 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,280 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $200. 